And we are live here at the Taft Coliseum to crown a new TSEHL championship or champion as we have the Ohio University Bobcats facing off against the defending champion Indiana Hoosiers. Justin, we are in. We are set for a great day of hockey mm -hmm. and a great day of some champ championships everywhere. We got the TSEHL in the morning and the Super Bowl at night. Justin, what do you want to see out of this one? Between uh, well, these are two very good teams. Their path to the title game was not easy. Um, OU, they had a very, very tough the two games. They played Louisville tremendously. They shut them down. And then yesterday, the game-winning goal with, with only 15 seconds left by uh, Donovan Thiem. So, and now they're in the playoff. They're in the uh, championship now. And for Indiana, uh, it's their second year in a row in the championship. They won the uh, title last year, so they're trying to, to defend uh, their title from last year. And um, they had two very close games too, both one-goal games. Uh, they beat Michigan in round one, three to two, and they beat Ohio State five to four in overtime in yesterday's game. So yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't really know because like both these teams, they have very explosive offenses and also very very strong defenses. So the only thing I think that's guaranteed is it's going to be close, but um, not sure. It, it could be a shootout. It could be a defensive battle where bo both goaltenders and and, and uh, defenses take over games. So yeah, I'm not sure. I just know one thing for sure. It's going to be a very close game. That's what I'm expecting. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, we saw both teams kind of do the opposite. Indiana had a very close defensive game in the first game. Like you said, three to two over over Michigan in the upset win, and then they had a two to one or a five to four rather victory over Ohio State, where the offense exploded. For Ohio University, they their offense exploded in the first period of the entire tournament when they put four up on Louisville in the first and ended up winning that one six to one. Um, and then in the second game, like you just said, they scored to make it two to or two to one or three to two late for the in last 15 seconds left and. I think Ohio is going to bring that uh, atmosphere back. I mean, yesterday when that goal scored with 15 seconds left, I have never heard a rink get that loud. You're, and I, you're right in my ear, and I can't hear you. That was, that was, I think, the loudest call I've ever had for any of these club games. Um, it was it was unreal. Yeah, I, I had goosebumps. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, a lot of that game was saved by the co-rookie of the year, Matt Zazan, who mm -hmm. will be a net for the Ohio Bobcats tonight. And that's another important matchup. We had great offenses, great defenses, but the goalies should shine tonight as they did in both games yesterday. I believe we're going to have Billis against Zazon again. If it's something different, we will let you guys know, but uh, we got about six and a half minutes before puck drop. Uh, any, any, anything else to add, Ben? No, Justin, we are set for a great championship game, so you do not want to go anywhere. Text your, son, uh, text your family and tell them to tune in because it's going to be a great one.
And with warm-ups coming to a close, we will have the national anthem coming up for you guys soon. And it looks like both teams are going to go back in the, in the locker room. Or at least o OU is. Yeah, yeah, their coach is sending them back into the locker room. And I don't believe Indiana will be coming off. Yeah, I don't know what was happening here, but. Might just be for a quick talk. Yeah, I know I heard someone say real quick, but. And the officials coming over to the Indiana bench. Yeah, and now league rep Tim Driscoll is now walking towards the Ohio goal. And the ref almost pushed him over. And as they come off, we will wait and see as the arena is now super quiet. Yeah, I thought we were going to get the starting lineups and national anthem. Is mm -hmm. But no, they're going to send them off quick. Um, one thing I would like to mention to you guys is that um, we are sorry about the uh, internet connection again, just like yesterday. Uh, the Wi-Fi in, in this arena is extremely spotty, so just bear with us. Um, the audio should be good, um, so if the live stream ever freezes, um, just pretend like it's a radio call, and I'm going to try and make it very detailed for you guys so you guys don't miss out on anything. So, Ben, um, any final thoughts uh, before we get started? No, I'm, I've been excited since we got the results from last night's semifinals. I mean, those those games were absolutely insane. I mean, both of them were crazy, but we're just kind of waiting. Now we have an Indiana player going to the locker room, and the horn will sound, I'm assuming, indicating that Ohio needs to get back on the ice. Um, I'd like to say hi to my... Uh, Cousin Brendan Shanahan, who's in the comment section right now, my roommate Zach Brandewey, as we're waiting on this one to get started. And for us, uh, CJ, Arden, and Ryan, thank you guys for your comments. We, uh, we're going to try and, and, and get a fix for you guys as the Jeopardy theme is currently playing in the arena. But yes, we are going to try and and I get the, the uh, connection fixed for you guys. The audio, ho however, should uh, make up for it during play. And uh, we're going to step away for now, uh, but make sure y you stay tuned. A puck drop is coming up shortly. And the Bobcats have now come back out onto the ice, so we will have the national anthem and, so, and starting lamps coming up for you guys. And here we go.
And with that, sorry, and with that, with the starting lineups of National Anthem being over, it is now time for the 2023 TSCHL Championship to begin. Both these teams have had very, very long roads to the championship, as you mentioned. Both very, very good seasons. Indiana, the defending champions. OU looking to take that the title away from the Hoosiers here today. Yeah, Ohio had a great season as the one seed. We saw the other one seed on the other side of the bracket fall to the Ohio State Buckeyes in a huge upset in the first round. And then the Indiana Hoosiers sent the Buckeyes home in overtime in the second. Now in the corner, it's worked out. Yeah. 
And I played near the blue line, and a the shot there gets blocked off, and that shot goes wide. Now it's worked all the way out of the zone. Roach going back to retrieve it. Icing waved off as Roach gets to it. Roach's pass went through a few players, and it's on net on Billis, and he will hold it. And we apologize for the audio as the Wi-Fi is interfering with our, our audio now, but we were able to fix it, and it should be all good now. Now it's worked along in the corner. And taken away there by McKay. And now McKay will work his way out. And it's thrown out. And now the Hoosiers will attempt to work their way in. And, and a drop pass was blocked off. And I was taken over here by Slavin. And now worked back over. And a big hit there by the, by the uh, faceoff dot. As I was Coward running in to Castroconi. And now they're still working away at it. And now it's thrown out. And uh, Josephiak picks it up. Then he gets run into there by the blue line. And now it's thrown around by Myers. Now played out by Castroconi. And with the puck bouncing, the Tian takes over. Tian moves in, saws the puck. He shoots, save made by Billis, and he holds it. And then McKay ran into his goaltender there as that was incidental contact, and he apologizes. Yeah, I think he was just trying to protect his goaltender and ended up just running into him. That happens. So we'll have a face off to the right of the Hoosier net. It'll be Ripley against Chambers on the draw. Face off one back by the Bobcats, but now it's played out after Ripley was able to win the face off back. And it comes over to Simino, goes off his skate, he's, and he's chasing after it. And Calera was able to get there first, but now the Hoosiers take back over. Chambers works it around, taken over there by Mueller. Mueller skating his way out, and it, it makes a great move there. And now Calais takes it. There was a big collision there, and his backhander went through the crease wide. And now Chambers will pick it up. Now it's turned back over, pass across, and there was nobody there. So now it's taken back over by Whitlap, and he gives it across over to Warner. Warner will settle it down as he has Calais watching him, and he gets it out. Simino, back pass. Warner takes over again. Warner, saucer pass. Michelli. Now Michelli will throw it in deep on net, and it goes off the glove of, Z of Zazon there. Now it's worked out by Tamborski for the Bobcats, and Tamborski will play it out all the way down, and it's stopped up there by Kecker. And Kecker throws it in deep. He stops it up, back behind the net, Zazon does, and now it's worked around. Mueller tried to poke it out, but it was stopped up. Now thrown out by the Bobcats. And it's played there by Williams, and Williams will throw it in deep. Zazon wants to go play it back behind the net, but he couldn't get there in time. Now a pass across there went wide of DiLorenzo. Off the pass from Brandenburg, and now it's thrown back down. Kecker will take over, back in the end his defensive zone. Now Williams, over to Kecker. Kecker pass across, and now it's DiLorenzo. Drop pass over to Jeremy. Jeremy skating up. He shoots, save made by Zazon. And it's under him, he didn't know where it was, and that shot goes off the outside of the net. Now worked in front, save by Zazon, as he, was, as he was able to get a piece of it. Now it worked across and kept in by the Hoosiers, but now gloved down as O'Brien will play it. And he'll backhand it out, and a hand pass is called. So the faceoff will remain in the Ohio defensive zone. Yeah, just one of those hand passes that you can't really avoid. I mean, he went to swat it out of the air, and it just fell right onto the other, the fellow Bobcat stick. You got a faceoff left to your goaltender, and you just bounce right back. Offenbach against O'Brien on the draw. That's one back by Offenbach. And a the shot there, save made by Zazon as he got just a little piece of it with the shoulder. Now McKay has it, and McKay shoots, and a big save made by Zazon with the blocker. And now Myers works it down low. It's taken there by O'Flaherty in the corner. O'Flaherty back at the point. And the shot there goes wide off the stick of Myers. Now worked in front, off a of body, loose there. Now picked up by the Bobcats as they try and work it out, but Myers is able to keep it in. Now pass in front, and it got tipped wide, and now Mueller takes over. Mueller was able to get it out. Ecker trying to gain control. Erker, excuse me. Erker still trying to take control, and he could not. Now it's taken over by Noel, and Noel was able to get it across the two Myers. Now it's brought in by McDonald. And McDonald, shoot, glove save made by Zazon, and he holds it. 
So far, a few chances from each side, but both goalies staying tough. Justin, what have you seen so far? Uh, well, Indiana has had has controlled the, the uh, majority of play so far. As a face-off has won back there by OU, but um, Ohio, they're doing a good job keeping Indiana to the outside. Uh, a lot of bounces going their way so far, the uh, uh, Hoosiers' way. Um, some chances, it's a big save from Zazon. Now turnover there, as Coward is playing uh, without a stick, trying to run into Whitleff, and Whitleff will regain control. But yeah, um, OU, uh, they, do, they do a better job getting the puck out of their zone. Yeah, and we saw that in the, both Indiana games they've played so far in this tournament. They love to control the pace of play, and so far it's worked out for the best of them as they're 2-0 and so far this weekend, looking for a championship. Now pass across. Campbell takes it there, and he backhands one out of the zone, but it's blocked off. Now Kecker will regain, will gain control and throw it in deep. This I want to go stop it back behind the net, but could not, as it was going too fast. Now, now Josephiak plays it out. Stopped up there. Erker pokes at it, and he's able to take it through. Work his way in. Erker shoots off the glove of Billis. As he made a save there. And now Michelli put it off the boards and it ended up careening up into the Hoosier bench, and that will stop play as the faceoff will come back into the Indiana defensive zone. No score yet. 11.49 left to go here in the first period, here in the 2023 TSCHL championship game. Mueller against Chambers on the draw. And Mueller is able to win it back. Ripley pass across. And Tian shot blocker away there by Billis. Now worked back behind the net. Ripley, and he, he may have gotten high sticked or hit in the face there as he went down, but he gets back up. Now it's worked all the, all the way down, and icing is called as Tian got there first for o OU. Yeah, that's another thing. They haven't called a penalty yet, but. You know, expect special teams to be a big factor of this one as it has been all tournament. And now Ripley will take the draw against O'Brien. And then the faceoff is a tie up. As it comes over into the corner, and now it's worked out. All the way back down, the Simino is racing after it against Kalura on the pass in front, and it was blocked away by Kalura. As that was Michelle, he was all alone in front. Now a great spin move there. As that's Williams who has it. Williams in the corner, back out. Michelle at the left point. He waits, he shoots, and he got blocked in front. Now it goes over in the corner where Kalei has it. And Kalei saucer pass out over to Mueller. Mueller has Kalera to his right. He moves in. He shoots, and that one went just wide. Now in the corner. Williams has it. Now pass across. Myers. Myers is able to get it out. Now Chambers will flip it in. And it'll go just wide, blocker side of Zazon. And now Michelli backhands one in front and went through the crease wide. Now Myers has it in the corner. Poke check there, but he maintains control. Puts it off the back of the net. And a big hit there back behind the net as I was Ripley running into Myers. Now it's backhanded out. And a whistle blows the play dead. Ten twenty-seven left in the first period. And that puck will be dropped. And the face off one back by Indiana as they work it around. DiLorenzo goes to play it back behind the net. Now Brandenburg hit there hard. Big hit by Mueller. Or, or excuse me, that's um O'Brien who who was in the corner. And now Scanlon. And a, a, a turnaround backhand pass was blocked off. Yeah, and the Bobcats are a very physical team as they chase that one back. Uh, we talked to Tehan at the end of the game yesterday, and he said that's what they want to do against the Indiana Hoosiers, just keep hitting them and put them in tough spots and work on their mistakes. Now it's worked out. Whitleff goes back to retrieve it. Th and thrown up, and DiLorenzo has it. He works it up, and he goes off the stick of Brandenburg in the zone. Now Roach will play it. Roach hit there. It's off and back. Wants to go reach for it, but it was blocked off. And now Whitlap has it. Whitlap passed across. It went through the stick of Offenbach. Now it's played in deep there by Warner. And it, it came in front, and it's knocked away there by the Bobcats. And now played out. And a big hit there.
as Warner was able to fight off a check. Now Whitlef has it. Whitlef will, will work his way out. The pass across. The shot there got, got blocked off, and a big hit there as Roach toppled over no or I'm sorry, no toppled over Roach as he got down and made a big hit. Yeah, we see we've seen huge hits all tournament, Justin, and that's just another one of how physical and how much the this uh, tournament means to all these teams. And, and both these teams were playing very physical in, in uh, yesterday's game, especially OU. Or yesterday's games, as we saw countless penalties on both sides from yes, OU and Kentucky. A lot of penalties, a lot of uh, four on four play in the OU Kentucky game yesterday. As it's worked out, Urker has it with Josephiak two on two. Urker was at the point, pass across. Now a shot there, blocked in front, and the rebound, it's loose. Coward trying to work away at it with, with Josephiak. Pass across, shot, and they score! Nick Urker, first goal of the game, goes to OU. Great pass there from Calera, and it's 1-0, Bobcats. And that's huge, Justin, because we have not seen Indiana in this tournament play from behind. They took a 2-0 lead in their first game, and then they also took a 2-0 lead in the second game, but then they kept Ohio State kept coming back and battling and tying it, but this is the first time we've seen, at least in the 2023 TSHL playoffs, of Indiana playing from behind. I think, uh, I'm not sure what you thought, but when I saw Calera wind up there, I thought he was going to shoot it, just yeah. to try and drive it on net, and he was able to find Erker on a great slap pass. Yeah, sometimes those opportunities just present themselves, and right there, Erker capitalized, and it's, it's hard getting past both of these goalies, so... Every goal matters a lot. Getting the first goal is huge in this game as now Simino has it, pass across, Myers, Myers shoots, save, and the rebound, Karam's away, and now Urker will skate it out. And he's able to get it in deep, the Chambers will play it there. Chambers saucer backhand pass over to Michelli, and now it's worked out by the Hoosiers. Myers gets hit there. Now back in neutral ice, Michelli picks it up. He's able to throw it in on net, and it's guided away there by Zazon. Now Tamborski pass across. Now throwing up Mueller as, and Mueller stops up. Salzer pass across. Galea couldn't glove it down. Now second over here, and the shot save made. Off the shot from Ripley, and now Warner and Ripley getting into it back behind the net. I expect a lot of that today, as you see this all the time in playoff championship hockey, Justin, is. You know, sometimes the emotions run high and expect a lot of calls that would be in the regular season, probably a roughing or a trip or a hook. Not get called today as the refs usually swallow the whistle in these games. 7-10 left in the first. OU Bobcats face lead 1-0. They face up at the far circle. Pops up back behind the net. Now worked in front, and it's blocked away, but and now comes over to Jeremy. And Jeremy, with speed, he moves through neutral ice. Drop pass. Now DiLorenzo, he shoots, and it goes wide. Now a shot there, glove save made by Zazon, and, and he holds it. 6.50 left to go in the first. one nothing OU on the goal from Erker. Yeah, and if this is your first broadcast tuning in to the TSCHL playoffs, you want to stay tuned in intermission as we'll have a player interview and an intermission report in all intermissions. And then we will, one of these intermissions, we will announce the MVP for the TSCHL. We will have the MVP for you guys during the first intermission and then the playoff MVP during the post game. And we will have an interview with them after the game. Yeah, hopefully a few interviews. As Oss worked back in, and a backhander save made by Zazan off the backhander from Offenbach. And then Offenbach and Roach collided, collided with each other, and now Roach is down by the, by the face-off circle and, and is able to get up. Yeah, and Justin, hopefully we'll have a few, pre er, few interviews on ice at that post game from the championship team and the playoff MVP, depending on who that is. And the faceoff one back there by OU. Now it's taken back over by Indiana. And this worked down low, but now blocked off. Now by the blue line. Battling for it there was O'Flaherty, and it comes over 
near the Indiana blue line, and now it's worked into the zone. And taken over there by the Bobcats in the corner. Pass in front, and they shoot, and they and a big save made by Billis. I thought it went in as the OU bench got up and started celebrating, and the crowd did too. Oh man, that was close. How did Billis save that, Justin? That I was insane. Do, I, I do not know. Like we said, it's a great goalie matchup, and you know we, this is what we expected to see. As now offsides is called. 5:51 left to go in the first. One nothing OU on the goal from Nick Erker just a few minutes ago. Billis just had a highway robbery to keep this only a one goal game and we saw pretty much all four goalers in the semifinals do that. Rob a bunch of chances as both games were very much closer than they looked. Face off one back by Indiana. And now it's thrown in. Zazon goes back behind the net to play it but it goes past him. Now in the corner, pass out, and the one-timer was fanned on there, but it's kept in. The shot on, and a save made with the pad by Zazon as that shot got through a lot of traffic. Now it's played out by Coward, and now racing after it is Josefiak as he pressures uh, the Kecker there. Now Erker is able to take it away. He goes behind the net, spins away. And tried to work out in front, but he got blocked, but now back at the point, Damborski works it down low, Erker. Behind the net again. Now back at the point, Tian. Tian's shot goes wide. And now Coward in front. Urker tried to get a stick on it, but could not as it's poked out. R racing after it here is Slavin. Slavin moves in, goes to the backhand, works it in front. A big save made there by Zazon as he was able to cover up the post. Now Myers works it back over. Now it's tipped in there. And then McKay gets it back after he tipped it in, and now it's worked back in again by Myers. Now worked around towards the Tamborski. And then Jeremy almost took it away, and he's poking away at it, and now it comes back over towards Ripley. And Ripley is able to get it out. Mueller. Mueller plays it up. Brandenburg tried to knock it down, but could not, and now he will. And now Myers. Back over to Brandenburg. And Brandenburg gets it up. And DiLorenzo throws it in deep. Comes all the way around, and McKay, back pass. Brandenburg has it at, at the left point. Pass across, Jeremy. Jeremy shoots, blocked in front. And now McKay mishandled it, and it leaves the zone. Four minutes to go now in the first. one nothing OU in the 2023 TSCHL Championship game here at Tap the Coliseum in Columbus, Ohio. And now McKay, pass across. Whitlef waiting with it, and his pass was tipped. Now it's taken over here, Chambers, he shoots, glove save made by Zazon and he holds it. Man, has Zazon been unbelievable in this tournament or what, Justin? That's another opportunity after opportunity. Indiana's had a lot of golden opportunities so far in this one. Zazon stood tall. He's been, unbe he's been unbelievable so far for the Bobcats in all the games uh, that he's played in. And has a reason he won co-rookie of the year. Yep. And the face off, one back there by the Bobcats and a big hit there. Now it's worked out. Whitlef goes all the way back down. Icing waved off. Now played in front, and, and it got blocked off there by Hawkins. Good job by Hawkins to negate that pass in front. And now Simino has it. And Simino works it in. Knocked down with the glove by Roach. And now Whitlef trying to play it, and he fans on the pass. Now it's taken back by the Bobcats. Shot there, went just wide. And now Simino had it, had it taken off him. Now O'Brien pass across. Now it's worked in deep there. And Hawkins avoided the check and I was taken back and worked up and, and moving in. Shot there, save made by Billis. The Scanlon had that chance. Now Scanlon working away at it, but Whitlef was able to take it away from him. And then it came over towards Castricone and Whitlef got it back and now he works it up for Simino. Simino moves in, has it in the corner, now goes behind the net. Simino back pass, and that shot went wide off the stick of McDonald, and that shot gets blocked off. As that was Kecker who tried to throw it on net. Still kept in, though. Warner throws it all the way around. Or that's Slavin, excuse me. Now worked across. And here come the Bobcats again. Shot on, and he got uh, deflected wide. That's played by McDonald, but turnover, pass across, shot there, and it went just up and over the net as it was tipped. And now Kecker 
trying to play it. Now Williams has it. Williams turn it over again. Now pass across, and the one-timer was fanned on there. Now worked in front, and McDonald was able to take it away, and now it's worked up. Now Slavin will bring it in. Slavin's pass across was blocked off by Tian. Now, and now he gets it back, and he gets over into the corner McDonald, and this pass was blocked off by Tian. Tian doing a good job uh, blocking off passes. Now spinning away there, Slavin. Slavin works it across, and now it's taken away and flipped out, but it kicked in, and now it's played out by the Bobcats as McKay will go back to play it. Now worked in deep, and icing is called. Great great match, championship matchup so far. We're almost through one. It's one nothing OU, and Indiana's still in this. Some golden opportunities on both sides, but goalie standing tall besides the goal from Urker for the Bobcats. And we have Urker against Castricone on the draw. And now McKay takes over. And it's worked back, back behind the net. Now Flaherty passes across and McKay takes over. And now it's worked up and it makes its way in on net. And it will be covered up there by Zazon as he, as he stops play with just under a minute left, 59 seconds left to go. And stay tuned for the intermission. We will have an, an interview with OU forward Nick Erker, who is currently the only goal scorer so far in this game. Offenbach against Erker on the draw. And Offenbach wins it back. For the second back by the Bobcast, now worked out. McKay racing back to go get it. And icing is called. So the faceoff will come back into the OU defensive zone. And Ben Shanahan will have that interview with Erker coming up shortly. So a quick recap on their roads to the championship game here this year in these playoffs. Um, Indiana took on Michigan in their first game, and they ended up winning that game as, as that shot gets tipped wide, and they beat Michigan 3-2, Indiana did. And yesterday, they ended up beating Ohio State in overtime 5-4. And for OU, they beat Louisville in their first game 6-1. to one. As it's worked in front, Urker has it. Urker tried to get it on that, but he got blocked off, and he works it back out. And, and Timborski's shot, it gets deflected in the slot. And OU's second game yesterday was a 3-2 win over Kentucky in a thrilling matchup as that game came right down to the wire as the game winning goal was scored with only 15 seconds left. And just over 10 seconds remaining here in the first. As Joseph Fiak backhands one in deep. Final seconds tick off. This play there by Williams as he gets hit. Still playing it. And that will do it for the first period as OU will take a one nothing lead into the second period. We'll have the interview with Nick Erker coming up shortly, so don't go anywhere. And we have Ben Shanahan sitting by with Nick Erker. Ben, take it away. I'm with the goal for Nick Erker. Oh. You're having audio troubles. Just give us one second. Trying to get this sorted out for you guys. Now I'm here with the goal scorer, Nick Erker. How's, how big? Always nice getting the first goal, but we know the job isn't done yet. What do you have to do in the last 40 minutes to bring home that trophy? Keep playing hard, stick to our systems, be hard to play against. A question, you want to say hi to anybody back home? Yeah, I want to say hi to my mom uh, and my brother and my sister. 
And thank you, Ben. We apologize for the audio issues there. We will try and get those sorted out for you guys, along with the feed issues. And stay tuned for the first intermission report coming up in just a few moments.
And we are back for the first intermission report. Currently, the OU Bobcats lead the Indiana Hoosiers 1-0 off of a Nick Erker goal in the middle of the first period. Justin, what did you see out there in the first period? Oh, uh, well, it was a very, very good game. Uh, or, or, or period. It, it, it was a very good period played by uh, both teams. Um, I thought both teams played very soundly on uh, defense. A couple of giveaways he, uh, here and there, but it didn't end up leading to anything. Um, and then Erker with the only goal, and we talked to him. He was uh, pleased with how uh, uh, with how they they played in the first period. Um, one thing I think Indiana can do is uh, is is uh, work harder along the boards when they're in the offensive zone because it seems like. That's not really where OU wants to be. They're trying to get the puck out down the middle. Um, and, and also, they keep on uh, getting the puck in, and they're making it hard for OU to uh, clear the zone, as OU was having a lot of trouble in that whole period trying to clear the zone. Uh, so, yeah, just trying to, to uh, keep the pressure on in the offensive zone and capitalize on, on your chances. And it takes a lot to beat Zazon, as he's only given up three goals in, in uh, two games so far here in these uh, playoffs. And um, as for... Um, as for OU, uh, just keep doing what you're doing. Also capitalize on your chances. And like I said, for Indiana, it's the other way around. Try and um, try and do better on the clearing attempts and dump out attempts. And uh, that's it. Anything else to add? No, Justin. We'll see you in three minutes and 50 seconds for the second period. Stay tuned.
Welcome to both teams back out from the locker rooms. It looks like we're just about ready to get started here in the second period between the OU Bobcats and the, and the Indiana, Ho Indiana Hoosiers, excuse me. 20 minutes around the clock, Justin. It's time for some second period hockey. And so far with both teams not having any chance in the special teams, you know, if that comes up this period, it's going to be a big opportunity. Now it's worked across. Brandenburg plays it up. Jeremy now works his way on in. Backhanded in deep and scooped up there by Zazon, and he holds it. And one thing I'm not sure if uh, you noticed, but uh, one thing I did notice in the first is that Indiana controlled most of the play in the, in the uh, first parts of the period. And then once OU started to get into a rhythm, uh, th uh, they ended up going up 1-0. Um, but OU did a good job uh, responding to the early push from the Hoosiers as that shot is thrown wide by DiLorenzo. So uh, what do you think OU has to do to keep up that pressure as, as a pass up for Urka went off a stick, but he's still skating after it and is able to get to it. What do you think um, Indiana has to do to keep up the, uh, the uh, pressure that, uh, that they have? Yeah, it's going to be hard to get past um, Zazon as he's been stellar all tournament long. So I mean, you got to set up, you got to set your plays and, you know, try to beat him east to west, not north to south, because he'll, he's, he's a big body, so he's going to block most shots right in front of him that he can angle up to. So you have to beat him with your uh, passing game, and that's kind of hard because OU has such a great defense. As, as he is one back and thrown towards the net wide of Billis. And now backhanded up in the air. Now shot there, save made off the shot from Ripley. Big save by Billis with the pad. And now in the corner, Mueller pass out, and it's blocked off. Now worked out by Whitlef. Now across, Chambers brings it in. Chambers drop pass. Went wide of Michelle and Simino. Now Simino around. Now it's picked up there and thrown across. Now we're left back over. Warner shoots, save made by Zazon, and he holds it. Yeah, and like, like we said, or like you asked me earlier, you're going to beat Zazon the same way you beat Billis, and that's how OU beat him in the first was it looked like one Bobcat was taking a slap shot, and then he passed to Urker, and Billis was set up for the slap shot, and Urker just tapped it home. 18.53 left to go in the second. <coughs> one nothing Bobcats. It'll be O'Brien against the Castroconi on the draw. Face off one back by the Castroconi, and the back pass was broken up, and now two on one chance as it's brought in by Scanlon. Scanlon, pass across, and they score! Great passing play by the Bobcats as they capitalize on the turnover, and they lead 2-0. And this place is getting loud, Justin, as we heard just like yesterday. Scanlon buries it like we just said. You're going to beat these goalies east to west. It was Scanlon over to Bodish, and Bodish was able to bury it home. Oh, my apologies. Bodish was the one that buried it home, but mm -hmm. you're going to beat those goalies by plays like that, two-on-one chances, and... You know, making them overextended and making it almost impossible to score on because it is almost impossible to score on both these great goalies. And I mean, that was a very impressive play by Scanlon as he was able to uh, shrug off the uh, defense and was able to stop it home as now Tamborski plays it around and it goes up and out of play and that stops play with 18.34 to go in the second. Faceoff will be at the far circle. And the faceoff. Oh. Faceoff. One back there. And they score! And it's Kecker on the goal. And that's exactly how you got to respond if you're Indiana. You do not want to get more than down. More. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. You don't want to face more than a two goal deficit. And to respond that fast is huge for momentum for the Hoosiers. Now Jeremy against Urker on the draw as we have two really quick goals there. As now DiLorenzo wants to go play it. It goes off the stick there of Brandenburg, and now Roach will play it. 
Roach back ends one and an elusive front and Jeremy tried to pick it up but could not and now Erker will take it away. Erker put it off Brandenburg and now it's thrown in there by, by Joseph Fiak. Now it's stopped up there and, and DiLorenzo has it and now Brandenburg moves in. Brandenburg hit hard there by Roach. Now Erker trying to pick it up. Erker takes it away. Now puts it off the boards. McKay stole it and throws it down the ice. Icing waved off as it was tipped in. Now Roach uh, reverses and a big hit there in the corner as Roach got knocked down by Brandenburg and now it's turned over. Pass in front, Brandenburg. Big save made by Zazar and it's still loose. And they're whacking away at it and it gets poked out of the zone. Big save made there as Brandenburg was all alone in front and icing is called. That's one of those, I have no idea how Zazan got a piece of that. 17-18 left in this second period. It is two to one. Bobcats have had two early goals, just like we saw yesterday, in, Justin, in that Indiana game. Two early goals in the second, and that turned out to be a 5-4 overtime win for the Hoosiers. Nurker wins the draw back. He plays it off the boards. Now it's played out and up into the OU bench. And a great catch by the Bobcat assistant coach. All right. Seventeen eleven to go in the second. And Justin, we've had a great weekend of hockey all weekend long. Hopefully that continues right here. As I'm not sure what the officials were talking about. And now the faceoff is won back by OU. As they work it up, pass across. And a backhander there by Coward went wide. Now Urker hit there along the boards. Now played up the middle and it went wide of a, of a few players. Roach skating after it and he's able to get there first. Ooh. And I think it's called the big hit there. And I, I think that was incidental contact there on the Hoosiers. So we'll see if we get a penalty call. And, and now, here we go. And as now they're getting into it in the corner. As Roach gave DiLorenzo a little face wash there. And I, I don't believe we're going to have any penalty calls here. I don't know how Roach isn't getting a penalty for that. I mean, he's the one that threw him into the boards. And then as you're skating by, gave him a face wash. I really... I don't know about you, Justin, but I thought that would be at least a penalty. And what shocks me so far about this game is that we've had no penalties so far. Yeah, but that's that's something you expect in championship hockey is refs don't want to give any team an advantage. The shot there, go save, made by Zazan, and he holds it. Does some pushing and shoving going on in front of the goaltender. And the faceoff will be at the far circle. Ripley against Chambers, and Chambers wins it back. Pass across, went left at the point. Pass across, and it goes off the boards, misplayed, and now it goes off Mueller's skate. As he tries to get it in, and offside is called. Now Chambers and Mueller tangled up. 16-35 yeah, to go in the second, sorry, go ahead. No, expect the physicality, physicality to continue, Justin. And we've seen it a lot so far this tournament, especially from the IU games. And the face off, one back by the Hoosiers, played off the boards, but kept in by the Bobcats. Now Whitlef, off the boards. Knocked down by Warner, as he plays it back over to Whitlef. Saucer pass up, and it goes wide out of all the players. And icing is called 16-17 to go in the second. Lots of whistles here early, and I mean, two goals, few icings, offsides. Yeah, it seems like a lot more of a feeling out process in the second period is, oh, you went into the break up one nothing, and then the two the two quick goals, oh, you makes it two nothing, and then, like you said, IU makes it two to one. So now it's kind of back to a feeling out process to see who can get the advantage. The big hit there by Chambers as he ran into one of the Bobcats. Can't make out whatever that is. That was Kalura who he ran into. And now it's played towards the IU net, but guided away there by Warner. 
And Michelle plays it up, but it's kept in by Calais. Calais in the corner, pass in front, and it got blocked off. Then the net, it came off, so that stops play. Once again, 15.50 left to go in the second. 2-1, the Bobcats lead the Hoosiers in the 2023 TSCHL championship game. Yeah, I know there's a lot of trash talking going on in the ice. You saw Calais pass the Hoosier and then didn't like what he heard, so he came back and said his final piece to the Hoosier. And there was almost none of that in the first period, and they've really uh, gotten into it here in the second period as they're all jawing at each other now after pretty much every whistle as now McDonald works his way in and he gets it into the corner. Yeah, I think that tension really came from that big hit in the corner earlier this period. Now behind the net, it's worked out by Castricone. Now McDonald back at the point. Kecker tried to maintain control, and he was able to, and he got it over to McDonald, but it was blocked off, and now it's back handed out. And it could be a two-on-one here as it's brought in by Scanlon. Scanlon passed across, and it was guided away there. So he was looking for Bodich once again on another two-on-one between those two forwards, and this time it was blocked away. And now it's worked in deep. Scanlon giving chase. Works back out at the point. Throwing towards the net save made by Billis as it barely stays in play as it went off the very top of the glass. Now pass across. Skating in is O'Brien. O'Brien back to the point. Shot there, blocked away by Kecker. Now it's played out of the zone as Castricone trying to race down to get it, but he could not as the Bobcats maintain control. And a big hit there by Scanlon as he knocked down Kecker. Now it's played by the far boards. Now in the corner, the Castricone shot got blocked off, pops up in the air. Now it's played out, Bodich trying to race after it, and he was able to avoid a check there as he jumped into the boards away from McKay. And OU, you know, you bench one, ecstatic wanting an interference call, but I honestly think that was the Bobcat that jumped yeah, into no, the boards. No, yeah, it was just, it was, it's a dental contact as he went to go jump out of the way of the hit. Now it's played out, back at the point. Big drive by McKay, and he broke his stick, and it rolls in on Zazon and he's able to cover it up as McKay throws his stick in frustration back towards his own blue line and he will go grab a new twig. Yeah, I don't think Zazon initially saw that as that puck kept rolling and at the last second Zazon went, you know, left to right, or right to left rather on his net and finally gloved that bouncing puck that got shot through traffic. The face off one back by the Hoosiers. Shot on there, save made by Zazon. Now it comes around. And here come the Bobcats back the other way. And a big collision there by the blue line. And then another big collision there back behind the net. Now in the corner, worked out, back at the point. Shot on there, one just wide as it was thrown through traffic by Campbell. Now it's worked along in the corner. Pass in front, and a shot there, big save. The rebound goes just up and over the net. As that was a huge chance for the Bobcats. That was a big pad save by Billis there to keep this game a one goal game. And that puck thrown all the way down, icing is called. 13-33 left to go here in the second period. 2-1 game between Indiana and Ohio. And like we said, we talked about how to get past these great goalies and other ways to put a bunch of traffic in front of that, and the both teams are doing that. Definitely probably said that in the locker room during the first intermission. And now back at the point, it's worked over towards McKay. McKay passed across, and it got tipped. Now it goes up in the air, and it's gloved there by Zazon, and he will hold on to it. Justin, we're 13-21 into the, or 13-21 left in the second period. we got a scrum over there as the ref's going to hold back a Hoosier. I was going to ask you, what, what have you seen so far in this period uh, from well, both teams? It was really, really big for Indiana to answer back after OU took a 2-0 a, a lead. Um, you don't want to let OU get too far ahead. And um, so far, Indiana, they've done a good job uh, with the pressure. And uh, Billis has made a few big saves, and so has Zazon. As now a few players jostling by the blue line, as now it's worked back in where Kalura will take over. But I thought both teams, they played uh, – pretty well so far and the big key so far is no penalties and that's what both teams have to work on as that backhander goes off the outside of the net and the net came off so that will stop play with 12.59 left to go here in the second period and so yeah I mean staying out of the box is huge as OU took a ton of penalties in the game uh, uh, yesterday against Kentucky 
As Alex worked into the corner, and now back behind the net, Myers plays it and gets it out towards DiLorenzo. Now pass across, and now McKay works it in. McKay stops up there. Now back pass, wide of DiLorenzo, but Jeremy takes over. Jeremy almost lost it, and now he moves in. Jeremy waits, he shoots, and that one went just wide. And the puck caroms all the way back around. Now played across. It's taken there by Williams, back over to Kecker. Kecker, pass up. McDonald trying to weave his way through, and he avoids a check there, and, and then the Kecker put it on net wide. And then Chambers back out, and a shot there, uh, there by McDonald is saved, and the rebound is controlled by Zazon. And OU's doing exactly what IU did to Ohio State so far in this one, Justin, is IU does have a lot of chances, but there's not a lot of rebounds or second chances. How big is that for OU to keep doing that? Oh, well, it's huge. I mean, uh, uh, we saw um, on one of the um, initial chances back in the first for um, for Indiana, I, or uh, OU, excuse me, I, I, be I believe it was right um, It was right after they took a one nothing lead. It was a big rebound chance in front, and um, Billis made a huge, huge save. Uh, you're not going to get too many of those saves from your goaltender. As that shot is saved by Zayzan off the shot from Chambers. Uh, but yeah, they got lucky that Billis was able to bail them out there. Uh, those big rebound chances are definitely not what you want. You want to make sure you have guys in front. And you want to make sure your stick is down to always clear the puck away. And also watch the guys in front that you're trying to uh, fend away. As the puck is worked out, Mueller racing after. It could be a break. Mueller is in. He shoots, saved by Billis. And he holds it as he didn't know that he had it. As he, as he, he uh, looked behind him and now Williams and Calais talking to each other. Yeah, and that's going to continue all game long as we've seen both oh, teams yeah. be very physical, especially OU. As, as we are not even halfway through this game yet, and, and, and there's already been quite a few uh, chirps sent both ways. As the faceoff is one back there by OU, and they try and control, but now it's taken back, and now thrown in deep. And off the glass and out. It goes all the way down. Chambers trying to race hard after it. And he got and he took a man down there. And now Simino works it out, but it got bl blocked away. And now Calais tries to dump it in as, he, as he's being taken down there. And then Tamborski was uh, battling with Simino also. Now it's worked back in. Shot there, and that one went just wide. And it's kept in the zone, though. Simino plays it in the corner. Simino back at the point, and now at the left point. Big drive there, save, and the rebound, and they score! And Zazon is asking for a goaltender interference. Is, there's a big, and now, is that a big and now, yeah, and now, and now, and now they're jostling back and forth, and I believe that was Michelli who got the rebound, and they're still going at it back behind the net. I think it was Michelli who scored the goal as it was initially driven on net by Warner, and yes, it was Michelli who got the rebound. So with 11-18 to go in the second, that makes it a 2-2 game. Two straight goals for the Hoosiers. And that is a huge two, sh huge back-to-back -back goals for the Hoosiers as Cezanne wanted a goaltender interference, and then I thought they were celebrating, and then I saw a black jersey throwing punches. And this game, this championship hockey game is getting quite intense as now we have a referee discussion by the penalty box. Will we have a, our first power play of the game? Nope, we'll have two. I believe that's coincidental minors as, and a, as a Hoosier and a Bobcat will go off. And yeah, and yeah, you're right. So yeah, we have two guys in the box for each team. Face off will be Bowditch against Jeremy. And the face off one back by OU. And it's worked in Bowditch. He moves in, he shoots, and that shot went just wide. And we have uh, seen your comments. We're going to try uh, during the second intermission to change the Wi-Fi source that we are currently using. We're going to try it in the first intermission, but we're trying everything to try and get it sorted out. 
and we're going to try some new things in the second intermission, so just bear with us, guys, as that shot is saved by Zazon. And as you mentioned before, this um, this arena is pretty old. It's pretty worn down. Not, it's not really meant for <laughs> for uh, live streaming, but um, we are trying our best here, guys. Former barn of the Columbus Chill, the ECHL, the reason why the Columbus Blue Jackets exist. My roommate, Zach Brandy, have to has told me that at least 100 times going into this championship game on Sunday. So shout out him for that fun fact. The face off one back here by OU. As now Urker takes over. Now his pass across goes off the skate of Tien. Now played it past McDonald. Now, and now back at the point. Urker trying to settle it down and it went past him. Now in the corner. It's taken there by Williams and now thrown up. And Kalura tried to poke at it, and, and he's able to take over. And he fanned on the pass, but he was able to get it back. Now up the middle, taken back there by McKay. McKay s scoots in, and he had it roll away from him as, as he was poke checked. And now Kalura pressuring him, throws it off the boards, but Castroconi takes over. Castroconi, waiting, he keeps it in, moves in. He shoots, and he scores! Indiana has their first lead of the game. It's three to two. And it's Nick Castroconi who was able to put it by Zazon. What a huge period for the Hoosiers as we haven't seen them go behind yet. And wow, I mean, what a turn of events, really. I mean, it was 2-0 OU very early in the period, and it feels like not that much time has gone by, and just like that, it's 3-2 Indiana. Yeah, it's only been 10 minutes since Indiana's been down 1-0, and now they're up 3-2. This has been a crazy first period, or second period, rather. Now it's worked over towards Jeremy, and he backhands it in deep. And now Mueller, working it out, is able to split the D, but he, he had the puck roll on him, and it's played in the corner where he's able to pick it up. And that's Mueller, what and Mueller trying to play it. Go ahead. That's where we saw Indiana succeed yesterday. This goal coming on the four on four. Um, we saw Indiana succeed a lot on. And now in the middle, and that shot was saved by Billis. Sorry to interrupt. No, you're good on special teams. Now it's played in front, and, and that shot went just wide off the sick of Ripley. And now DiLorenzo heads down the ice, and he flips it in deep. Goes off the far corner board, the near corner boards. I'm, I'm doing it again. I'm saying far corner when I mean near corner. Every time it's in the far corner, I say far corner. Every, every time it's in the near corner, I still say far corner. So you always say far corner. Mm -hmm. I, li I like the far corner because I mean, I mean, it gives it gives us a, it gives us a better visual. So, I don't know. We should tell them um, every time they dump it in, play it into the uh, far corner. Yeah, you can see a lot better. Now stumped in by Bodic. Now McKay takes back over for Indiana. McKay is in, makes a great toe drag move. Backhander went just wide as he went all the way to, uh, down the ice and tried to oh, put it in, and that shot gets tipped up and over the net. Now in the corner, it's worked back out towards the point. And in the middle, Michelle lost his footing as he went to go pick it up, and now it's cleared all the way out. Williams races all the way back down, and icing is called. 7.42 to go in the second period of, of the 2023 TSCHL championship game between Indiana and OU. Indiana currently has the lead, it's three to two. And like we said, Justin, I mean, that's, those plays are so important to capitalize on the chances, and that's the difference between Indiana in the first period and Indiana in the second period is now they have three goals. And that's as much as Zazan has given up in two games before this. Yep. And, and I mean, he's made a ton of, of uh, uh, tremendous saves in, in this game as well, as I shot a save by Zazan. Um, and yeah, I mean, all the chances that he's given up, I mean, they've been great at chances for uh, Indiana, and they've done a great job capitalizing on their chances, and that's something that me and you both uh, 
stress during the first intermission is that both teams ha have to capitalize on their chances because they're only going to get uh, so many big chances and both these goalies are great, are absolutely tremendous. As now it's kept in by the Hoosiers as often back threw it in deep. Yeah, and Indiana, I mean, they they have a lot of experience on this team of knowing how to win this tournament. Mm -hmm. And like it said, someone said in the comments, it's been five years since the Bobcats have won the TSEHL. Is that shot saved? And the rebound goes up and over the net. And I know we were speaking with Andrew Weiss uh, during the preview show. Is that shot saved there by Zazon? And now back behind the net. Watcher, Michigan? No. Nope. McDonald waiting. I don't think, nah, nah, it's too close of a game. I, w I wouldn't. Yeah, but, um, usually when you see someone stand that long in the back. As that shot is saved by Zazon, but um, Indiana coach Andrew Weiss, when we uh, spoke to him, uh, there, is, there are a lot of freshmen on this Indiana team, and they've done a tremendous job, all of them. They've done an absolutely tremendous job um, here in this game and also the two games before this, um, keeping it close, because these are the most difficult games to uh, play in the, uh, the big, the close games. Yeah, that's as, a as it's the most stress on a player, and it's the most nerve-wracking, too, and you can't let any of the nerves get to you, or the fatigue as well, because, I mean, this, this is both these teams' third game in three days, and you're going to feel uh, fatigued either way, but you can't let that get to you. And that's a lot of, I mean, that's a lot of freshmen on that Indiana team, and one of them was the hero in that semifinals game to send them to the championship. Yep. Well, now it's worked in. Slavin trying to play it, and now it's thrown towards the net wide. Roach. Back ends one along. Kalura trying to play it. Now it's worked out. Now back at the point. Handled there by Williams. Almost poke check there and is able to get it across. And Casper Coney, great move there. Pass across. Shot on save by Zazon. Off the shot for McDonald. Great job by Indiana moving the puck around and avoiding any turnovers. As OU was really pressuring there, trying to get a, a, a odd man rush. And now Joseph Fiak. And he flips it out. Urker pokes it along and is able to race in with it. Urker moves in. And he's poke checked there by Williams in the corner. He has it. Avoids a check. Still waiting with it. Shifts it over to Joseph Fiak. And, jo and Joseph Fiak almost lost it. Now Kecker trying to pick it up. And he does. And, he is, and he's able to get it out. But it hopped over the sick of McDonald. Now it's played back in. Rolls in on Billis. And he'll play it over towards Williams. Now Mueller and, and Kecker were jostling at the crease. Now Kecker moves in, and he, and he puts it around. And Kalura knocks it down with his glove, but a second back. Michelle's shot is gloved by Zazon. 4.49 left to go here and in for, the second period. Sorry, go ahead. And for the Bobcats, it is so important for Zazon to get back in that mindset he has in the first two games that he is the co-rookie of the TSCHL and honorable all-mention team. I mean, he's been stellar all all weekend long and he's got a lock back in. He's given up three this period. And I meant to say second intermission. I don't know why, why I said first. It's probably because I was just thinking about it too much. Uh, during the second intermission, uh, we will have um, the reveal of who the MVP is this season. As now we have a penalty coming up and it's gonna be Aiden Simino going to the box as he picks up the puck and throws it away. As I believe he was just throwing it back into the zone. So Simino goes to the box. This is the third combined penalty in the game for either team, and it'll be the first power play of the game for either team. And we are way over halfway through the game now. So both teams playing very disciplined, and Simino will head off. So OU will get the first power play of the game, and down by one, this is a huge chance for them to get back in the game. And that's what we talked about in the um, pre show that both these teams have to play discipline because both of these offenses are so, so good and the special teams are so, so good that you cannot give them any more golden opportunities than they already have. And now the official's talking and I didn't see what that call was, now. but it is a two-minute minor. Mm -hmm. Off and back against Ripley on the draw. And, and Ripley's able to win it back. Now Ripley has it back out at the point at Tamborski. And we saw Tamborski score a power play goal in, in the yesterday's game as well. Now Kalei back out. Tamborski at the point. Now Ripley. Ripley. 
for Oskalay. Now in the middle, shot by Josefiak goes wide. Coward trying to play it. And, and Whitlef heading him along the boards. Play back out at the point, Kalei. Kalei pass across, and, and now Ripley, he shoots, and that one may have been tipped wide. Not sure if Bellis got a piece of it. Now a Coward, pass in front, it's loose. Poked away at, and the, the puck did not go in, and now they're jostling with each other at the crease. Yeah, it's Billish got pushed into his own net. And yeah, I'm not sure I'm not sure uh, if they're gonna call anything here as there is a ton of pushing and shoving going on. Nevertheless, puck never crossed the line, so we will play on. 118 to go in the power play, 351 left to go in the second. Indiana leading OU three to two. And that's what that's what OU kind of struggled with yesterday is taking penalties during the power play and ending their power plays early against Kentucky. And the faceoff one back by the Bobcats. Ripley trying to play it. Off and back, it takes it, and it clears it back all the way down. So we're halfway through that Bobcat power play. Mm -hmm. Just about. And now Tamborski will stop back behind the net. He gives it over to Ripley. Ripley pass up, tipped in by Coward. Now Calais racing in to go get it. Over skated now, thrown towards the net, just up and over the net by Ripley. Now Tamborski plays it in deep. McKay steals it, tries to clear, but it's kept in by Ripley. Great keep in there. Now McKay has it again, being patient with it, and now he will dump it all the way back down. And it rolls in on net, and Zazon plays it. Pass over to Coward. Just over three minutes to go now in the second period, 30 seconds to go in the power play. Played near the circle, and now Urker takes over. Urker has one of the goals in the game for OU. And now Timborski, one-timer save made with the pad by Billis off the one-timer there from Coward. Yeah, no one was there for the rebound because Billis gave a golden opportunity or, with the or, wide open net. Or no, or no, excuse me, that was Scanlon. Power play almost coming to an end. Urker works his way in. Makes a move. Another, another move, backhander, and it goes just up and over the net. He was looking to put a top cheddar. And now O'Brien off the boards, back out at the point. Throwing towards the net, we're just wide. 2.20 to go here in the second. Urker battling there with Kecker. Now it's thrown out. Now McDonald will settle things down. And drops it back over to Kecker. And now Williams takes over. And he gets it up as he puts it past Slavin. Now it's thrown back in the zone. It was poked at by Scanlon, but it went past him. And then Williams lost it. Now it's taken back over by Tian. And now a pass up over to Scanlon. Scanlon moves in one-on-one. -on -one. Scanlon shoots, and he was stick-checked as he shot it, and it was blocked away. Now it's taken back here. And now, and now McDonald. It takes over, and a chip pass was knocked down. And now Scanlon moves in with it. Scanlon and this pass across got tipped up and it goes up and out of play. 126 to go in the second now and we are not going to have a second intermission report for you guys. We will just have an interview and then we are going to announce the, the MVP and then right after that we are going to try and figure out the Wi-Fi issue to fix the feed for you guys. So that will substitute the intermission report. And we'll just go over our analysis at the start of the, of the uh, third period. Yeah. Jeremy against Ripley on the draw. And, and it's one back by Ripley. Now put across, Calera goes to play it and he throws it towards the net. Gloved down now by Whitleff. And now played across by DiLorenzo and Brandenburg picks it up. Brandenburg still has it, tries to backhand one in front, but it got blocked off. Still battling away for it. And he puts one through the slot. Nobody could pick it up. And now it's played out, hopped over the stick of Mueller. Now picked up by DiLorenzo, he moves in, he shoots, and that shot went wide. Now they're battling along for it. And that shot is saved by Zazon, and he's able to cover it up. 47 seconds to go in the second period, 3-2 Indiana leads Ohio in the 2023 TSCHL championship game.
Shots put long in the backhand, there goes just wide. Now it's worked out. And worked into the zone. Urker will get to it. Urker puts it in front and it went through the crease wide. Roche trying to keep it in. Roche has it. He shoots and it goes off the glove of Billis there. Now behind the net. Worked out towards the circle, but and now cleared out. Roach was able to knock it down, and he almost lost it, and he did. Now Zezan will play it out. Roach, 10 seconds to go in the period. Now Urker moves in. Urker, and it's poked away, and he got tripped up there. Now it's cleared up and into the stands, and the buzzer sounded for a second, and let's see if they're going to call it here. As it was a little over one second left to go, and they're gonna put two seconds back on the clock as on the scoreboard it showed zeros, it showed all zeros, and are they, are they gonna call it now? Yes, they are, okay, so they're not even gonna have a face off. And we will have an interview with Indiana player Nick Castricone coming up. And we will also be announcing the 2023 TSCHL MVP. So don't go anywhere.
And both teams making their way back out onto the ice for the third period. And we would now like to announce the winner of or the MVP for the 2022-2023 TSCHL season. And a big congratulations to Bowling Green State University forward Chase Denall. Great season for you and the Falcons. And congrats on winning the award. And we will have the playoff MVP announced after this game concludes. I think me and Ben have a few predictions for who it is going to be. Ben has, has currently stepped away, and we were trying to find an alternate uh, source for the Wi-Fi, and uh, we, we saw your comments about either some different Wi-Fi source or a hotspot, and um, we ended up testing out a hotspot. It was actually worse than how the connection is right now, and for other Wi-Fi sources, there are none. Um, in this arena, so we apologize, guys, but there's no other way to, um, there's no other source of Wi-Fi to broadcast on, and I know it's frustrating, guys. Trust me, we're frustrated, too, uh, because we pride ourselves in getting the best broadcast out for you guys every game, and um, we didn't have too many problems in the other rink, but this rink, uh, not really meant for live streams, so we apologize for you guys. Uh, just try and bear with us for, for the rest of the game as we're about to enter the final period. So, again, sorry, guys, but there's nothing, there's nothing we can really do. And we got a great third period set for you, 20 minutes around the clock. Indiana leads 3-2 to two, as it is time for third period hockey. We need a crown of champion. Let's see what happens right now. And, Ben, I was about to uh, – well, I wanted to wait for uh, you first. I was about to announce um, – or. or and as that shot is saved by uh, Billis, I was going to uh, uh, say who my uh, finalists are. I guess you could say for who could win MVP for uh, both teams. What do you see for uh, for the Bobcats and the uh, the uh, uh, Hoosiers? Excuse yeah, I mean, me. Zayzan has given up to the most goals that he has all tournament today with three. I mean, he's still up there for uh, for final or for a finals for the tournament. Um, I mean, Acker has a goal. I think both teams have a lot of finalists. I don't now, know. I don't now, really have anybody in mind, Justin. Now, and now DiLorenzo trying to pick it up, and he swings it in front, in front and he got bucked off, excuse me. Uh, uh, yeah, I think you put it well. I mean, there's so many guys that you could put for both teams. Um, for OU, I mean, um, Erker, Tian, Tamborski, Zazon, they've all had a tremendous series, and now it's turned over, pass in front, now it's picked up, and it's loose there, and a shot there, and they score! And it's Erker again! And like I just said, I mean, Urker's up there, and he's the two goals in the tournament in the tournament finals. Congratulations to him. As we, like we said, a lot of fireworks left. We're tied with 14:23 left. And that OU bench has life once again. And it it really is taking a lot to get past either of these goalies. As that one, uh, the IU keeper was just laid flat out, and Urker sent it home. And the puck it, and the puck was going across the uh, crease. It was poked in, and uh, or poked towards the net. And Billis made a tremendous rebound save, and then uh, there was no way for him to get the rebound as the, it came right onto Urker's stick, and he, and he was able to put it home into the yawning cage. So we are once again tied. OU was up two nothing. Indiana scored three goals in a row to take a three to two lead, and now OU has once again tied the game here under a minute into the third period. And we'll have a discussion with both captains as Indiana is pleading for a goaltender interference, just like OU did on their third goal on Indiana's third goal. But and I don't believe you we're can't get change anything. it. Nope. In the third, it's three to three with 19:23 uh, left, and once again an early goal in this period as the music is still playing. And it happens all the time in the yeah, ACHA. Yeah, yeah. And now it turns off, and now TM will play it as he goes back behind the net. TM plays it across, now Ripley, saucer pass up, it went past the skate of Calais, and it goes back down, and icing is called. Face off will be at the far circle in the neutral zone. And I was and I was away from the play when you guys when you announced it, but congratulations to Chase and all on the TSCHL MVP. Now behind the net, worked in front, and it went past the stick of Michelle as he could have poked it home there, but he couldn't react in time as that puck was soaring through the uh, 
the uh, slot. Excuse me, I couldn't think of what that was for a second. I was, I was about to say uh, neutral zone. That's a big time hockey hit there by the OU bench. As I mean, me and you both know, like, I mean, it's been a long past uh, few days for us. This is the, I believe, sixth game that we've done in the past three days, and it doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, I mean, I mean, every game has been, or most of the games have been super close, and it's been really, I mean, it's, it's, it's been a lot to take in as icing is called with 18-17 to go in, in uh, regulation. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been a really, really great tournament this uh, this year. A, a lot of close games, especially uh, yesterday, two very thrilling matchups in the semifinals. Yeah, and not out of out of those seven games that have been in the tournament, we've broadcasted six. Like you said, the only one that wasn't close was OU's first game when they um, beat Louisville six to one. But everything else has been a one or two goal game. Yep. Um, I guess and, that yeah. And I mean, the Bowling Green uh, Kentucky game uh, that. Was eight was an eight four game, but it, it was four four heading into the third. So that game was also close as that shot is thrown wider than that. So every game has been a great matchup, I would say. So pass across, shot there, save. The rebound is loose and it's poked away. And now McDonald picks it up and he works it in deep. Ripley now behind the net. He's able to work it out and goes all the way back down. Mueller trying to race after it to negate the icing, and icing waved off now. This is worked around by McKay. No, yeah, I mean, uh, McKay uh, got there first as he was in the right spot. Now it's kicked back in, but not played there by uh, Slavin as it would have been offsides. And now O'Brien plays it across. It goes off the far boards, and now DiLorenzo back out. Now played across Myers now. Goes over to his teammate there. That was Jeremy, and now over to DiLorenzo, and now it's thrown in by Brandenburg. Now thrown in deep. Tamborski plays it over to Ripley. Now it's worked up a Scanlon plays it across. It goes wide there of Bodich. Now taken over there by Hawkins. He throws it in on net and a save made there by Zazon. And now thrown around and played out by Bodich. As it goes high in the air, William is trying to knock it down and he's able to. Now O'Brien plays it and he'll play it back in. O'Brien trying to play as he plays it off the glass. OU trying to keep the puck in and squeaks out of the zone as they battle for it along the Indiana bench. And a big hit there as Hawkins knocked down one of the Bobcats there. Now Roach was able to play it in deep. And was supposed to play it dead as I believe that was icing as he wasn't quite past the red line yet. 16-19 to go here in the third. 3-3 between OU and Indiana in the final game of the TSCHL season, the championship game. Yeah, o or IU looking to repeat and OU looking to win their first TSCHL in five years. And as the puck squeaks across, the crease and then Zazon lost his footing as he may have been run into there. I'm not sure if he was running to as, as I was looking back in, in front of the play and the, the play hat and that uh, collision happened behind the play. If there was a collision, not sure if he got knocked down. That was played in neutral ice. Now chopped that and it's worked into the zone. Now Offenbach he plays it across and now in the middle. It's, it's taken there and chipped along by Warner and now played right back in. Yeah, I don't think the close game favors either team, Justin, as we saw both teams in a very, very tight game yesterday, Indiana winning in overtime against OSU and Ohio beating Kentucky with 15.4 seconds left. I would say you're you're definitely right. It doesn't favor either team, but it also, I mean, I wouldn't be discouraged if I were either team either because they both uh, won their close games. Uh, IU, both of IU's games are coming by one goal and then OU scoring a goal in, in the last uh, 30 seconds of uh, yesterday's game to win the game 3-2 over Kentucky. Yeah, and this is this is pretty much every any person's game, Justin. Like you just said, I mean, we've had an Ohio lead and then an Indiana lead, and then you know, Ohio led going in the first intermission, Indiana led going in the second intermission, and then Ohio tied it up with less than um, two minutes into the third period. Now play it up, Jeremy working his way up. Jeremy shoots and he got blocked off by Tian, and he's a bit shaken up after that as he 
limped a bit, but he seems to be okay as he's skating normally now. Now Urker tried to work it up, but it went too far for him as he pokes at it. And now it's kept in, and then Joseph Fiak threw it off of a man in front, and it carried him over towards Brandenburg, and he was able to get it out. It goes off the stick of DiLorenzo all the way in. TM plays it around, now second back as it hopped over the stick of Jeremy there. Jeremy plays it in deep, now DiLorenzo in the corner. Back out, one timer there by Jeremy as he broke his stick, and now a chip out pass, and Kalura breaking in. Kalura, shoot, save made there by Billis. And, and, now, and now he has it again, and he tries to, to spin and turn, but he could not. Now a second back over by the Hoosiers. As this worked out. Bob Cass will take it back over and it's thrown around. Now taken back by Michelli. Now down low, Chambers back out towards uh, Michelli, but it got blocked off. And now Williams will throw it in deep. Played there by the Bobcats, but kept in, and that shot goes off the outside of the net. Now, now Simino back out over to Kicker. Now Kicker. Simino now back at the point. Williams, he shoots, blocked in front as it went off of Chambers. Now Mueller has it in his skates as Michelli tries to whack at it. Now back out, and a shot by Kicker, saved by Zazon, and he holds it. 13.38 to go in the third period. 3-3 game between the Bobcats and the Hoosiers. And the faceoff will stay in the OU defensive zone as both teams will make changes to their forward groups and defensive pairings. And it will be O'Brien taking the draw against Offenbach. And it's one back by O'Brien now dumped out. Scanlon racing after it. And it will be played behind the net there by Billis and he throws it around. Now it's cleared out. And off the boards, it's played there by Whitleff, and now a crossover to Hawkins, and now brought in by Casper Cone, and he got running too hard there by, by one of the Bobcats, and now thrown towards the net, and Roach blocked it off. Roach chips it along, but knocked down there with the glove by Whitleff. Now taken back over, Casper Cone moves in, goes around the net, backhands one in front, and it went through the crease wide, and the net came off. And that stops play with 12.58 left to go in the third. Face off one back by OU. Now, and now it's played along. Now thrown up and it goes off the sick of O'Brien. Now played across. Brandenburg went to go pick it up, but Hawkins got it instead. Now it's thrown all the way up. And icing called. 12.41 to go now in the third. And I mean, it's been a pretty back and forth game so far. Yeah, no, Justin, no one or wants to get Back and forth period, I mean. I, I mean, it has been a back and forth game, but in terms of the period, too, it's been with both teams back and forth in each, in each end. In the end, it has been a pretty good chunk of time in the offensive zone, but OU has done a great job defending them as they haven't had that many chances. Now a big hit there, but it's kept in the zone. Hawkins plays it around as IU will look to clear the zone. Now Jeremy. Tried to throw it around, but it got blocked off. Now Coward plays it in front, and then Josephiak could not corral it. That was a big chance for Indiana to stop there. Josephiak already has a goal today, or has a goal in the tournament, rather. Now Jeremy towards the net, it got blocked off. And then Brandenburg tried to swing it in front, but that got blocked off as well. Now at the point, McKay has it. McKay spins back in the corner, washed there by two different Bobcats. As he's washed by Tian and Coward. Now back out, shot on net, sicked away there by Zazon. And now McKay has it again. Sick check there by Coward, and Coward's able to clear the zone. That puck rolling all the way back down. And no icing called. Yeah, as I think the Hoosier down there beat it to the goal line. Now Myers. Weaving his way through, Myers shoots, and off the crossbar! What a shot there by Myers as he ran one right off the bar. And that now it worked in front, and it was blocked away. Oh, go ahead, sorry. That couldn't have come any closer to taking the lead once again for the Hoosiers as it did, but it 
somehow stayed out. And, and that shot was saved by Billis, and then McKay got knocked down, and now Mueller gets run into there by Simino. And Michelle trying to guide Simino away, so he doesn't want him to take a penalty, as it would be a very, very bad time to take a penalty for either team. Now Mueller will take the draw against Chambers. The pits up one back by OU. Shot thrown on net, blocked off. The puck leaves the zone. Now it's thrown back in, and it goes off the glass. And now Indiana will attempt to break out. Pass across was tipped. Now Chambers has it, back out. The kicker takes over. And now Michelle will flip it in. Now Chambers has it, Chambers moves in, pass across and it got tipped away, but Michelli takes over and he shoots and it gets blocked off again. Big drive and that one got deflected wide. Four shot attempts in the last like five seconds and they all got blocked off. Good job by the Bobcats. Now Williams, Williams waits back out over to kicker. And one time we're there, blocked off again. It is Sponge City over here, Justin, as everybody's Sponge getting a block Sponge shot. City. Now back out, shot to, uh, and, and Michelli's shot got blocked off as well as it got deflected up into the glass. Now Michelli gloves it down, and he got taken down, and a penalty is called. Indiana will head to the power play. And I was about to say, Justin, is with how many Indiana chances, how many blocked shots there was, it's starting to look like a power play for the Hoosiers with five on five hockey. Now we'll actually have a power play as the Bobcat will go to the box. And this is a very, very Big, big power play chance for the Hoosiers here. I mean, it could not come at a bigger time. It's almost halfway through the third tie game now. They had the lead heading into the third, and I'm sure they're already upset that they gave it up. But now, I mean, now, now is when you have to come through. Yeah, and they've been the best team in the tournament so far on special teams, the Hoosiers, so we'll see how they can adapt. And Tian was able to throw it out. As in that Ohio State game, they had a shorthanded goal um, and a power play goal. And OU has had some success on the power play, but not as much as the Hoosiers have. Now Whitlef works his way all the way in, and he spins. Waves with it, now Jeremy. Jeremy passed across and it got tipped up into the glass. And now McDonald. McDonald waits and drops it off, Whitlef. Whitlef moves in, makes a move. Goes back behind the net, poke check there by Calera, but he maintains control. Puts it over into the corner, and Jeremy takes over. Now back at the point, Urker got there first and was able to get it out. Now Jeremy works his way up the ice, almost halfway through the power play. So far, a, a good kill by the Bobcats as it, as it worked away on it, and that shot went up and over the net from DiLorenzo, and it's cleared out. Now Williams had it poked away from him. And then it's picked up there by Castricone. He works his way on in. Hey, Castricone, great move, he's in, and he tries to stuff it home, but a big save made by Zazon. Unbelievable move by Castricone, and an even more unbelievable save made by goaltender Matthew Zazon. I don't know how Zazon got a piece of that, but he did, and we're still tied at three. How many times have I said that this tournament, Justin? Unbelievable. And the save made there by Zazan again off the shot from Williams, and that stops play. 8.36 to go in the third. 20 seconds, 19 seconds, I mean, to go in the power play. Wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. As I mean, the first few minutes, it was the opposite of what the first period was. Is oh, OU controlled play for, for the majority of the first few minutes, and then since then, uh, since then IU has done a great job keeping OU out of their zone and also applying offensive pressure. As now it's worked out. It tips in by O'Flaherty. Final seconds of the power play. And Calera. Pass across. And a penalty against Indiana. So OU will head to the power play now. Both teams being so disciplined in the first and second period. And now we have back-to-back -back penalties. And let's see who it will be. And it will be Luke Slavin who will head off for the Hoosiers.
So let's see what OU can do with their power play, as, as, as this will be their first power play of the period. Chambers against Ripley on the draw. And we see the uh, Bobcats always try and get it over the Ripley at the uh, left point to, to try and get a shot off as that shot is saved by Billis. 8.02 to go in the third. So Ben, uh, what have you thought so far as we are now just over halfway through the period and now OU on the power play, what have you thought so far here in the period, how, how have both teams fared and what can they look to improve on here during the third period? Yeah, I mean, what they got to look for forward to is both teams haven't had any special team success, and um, but they have relied on their goal goal fans, uh, goalies and defense, as I just, just tried to combine that word to make one <laughs> word there. Um, <laughs> And that's what you got to keep doing. It's going to be, it's going to come down to capitalizing on those chances when you get it. Both teams have done that three times, but there's also been a lot more chances that have been stopped. And so far, a great kill as it's big takedown there as Brandenburg took down Ripley and he cross checks him in the back. And now it's brought in as that was happening behind the play. Yeah, no call right in front of the ref. The ref says play on. And then Josephiak was run into there. And you'll see that a lot more today especially as this being a tournament championship game. A pass down low, it goes all the way around. Coward tries to play it, but it was poked over for him by McKay. McKay throws it all the way down. With how the rankings look today, Justin, both these teams are probably definitely into the regional ACHA Southeast tournament. Now it all just depends on, uh, it all just depends on going into just who wins the trophy. Yep. Because there's a trophy out at in the center ice, waiting for a victory. No shot there, save. Sorry, go ahead. No, that no, was it. No, yeah, the trophy's waiting, uh, the waiting to stable. be claimed. Yep, right by the uh, scorer's table. As one of these teams will, will walk away, and it could be the team who gets the next goal. Now a puck battle as a power play enters its final seconds. And they're so working away at it as Casper Coney did, did a great job of putting the puck up against the boards. And, and now it comes out, and McDonald has it. M and McDonald, he shoots, and that shot goes wide. Now in the corner, Casper Coney has it. Pass in front, and he got tipped. And tipped again off of Mueller, and he takes over. Yeah, Mueller almost gave Indiana another second chance on that. That hit his stick and popped right in front of Zazon. Under six minutes left to go now. 3-3 three, three game between Indiana and OU in the finale of the TSCHL playoffs. Winner wins the 2023 TSCHL championship. And this is exactly what we expected, Justin. No, no, yeah, this close, close game. Yeah, yep. Close game, but a lot of goals. Uh, 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 yep. That's what we said. I mean, it could be a shootout. It could be a, um, it could be a defensive battle. I would say, I mean, it's not a shootout or a defensive battle. Like three goals is pretty, it's pretty average. Yeah, but for a championship game, I, I think three goals is a lot, especially how intense and how stressed everybody is on the ice. Now puck rolling across the blue line, picked up here by Mueller. Mueller drives it in, off the, off the glass, back behind the net. Now thrown back out. Shot there, blocker save made there, and the rebound. The caroms over into the slot. And that pass went off a skate, so it was kept in, and thrown across, and now picked up Otis. He moves in, then on the, on the shot, and backhander put just wide, as O'Brien had a roll over to his stick, and he put it just wide. And you saw the OU crowd in front of us jump up and jump down. I don't know how that one did not go in that. Another robbery by two, by one of these goalies. As, yeah, as, as that was as close as, as either team has came in the past few minutes as they've played a very uh, soundly, as they've been very sound defensively. I mixed up my words there. As now kicker will take it in the corner. Now let's play it out, Bodich. And now Erker will, will work his way up the ice. Erker makes it a few moves. He shoots, and the shot went wide as it may have been tipped off of McKay. Now play it in deep, pops up in the air. McKay, or, 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 or I'm sorry, Erker plays it. Erker works his way out, back out at the point. Shot there, blocked in front. And the cam's over into the corner where Kicker tried to play it out, and it's kept in. And the whistle stops play with four minutes left to go now in regulation. Faceoff will remain in the Indiana defensive zone. So 
So Jeremy against Ripley, and Ripley wins it back. Now it's played out. Brandenburg is in the end and took it back. Running on net, save made by Zazon, and he lets it drop, and it's picked up here by Tian. Tian will move in. And now it's played across. It went wide of Ripley. Now they're all battling away at it, and Ripley is able to pick it up. Now shot on, save made by Billis, and he holds it. 3.38 left to go now here in regulation. Still a 3-3 game. And, I mean, what a weekend it's been. And, and, and I mean, we're already in the late stages, so this game is also going to come right down to the wire as we've had so many games this week to come down to the wire. The Miami OSU game um, back on Friday, both games yesterday, and now this one as well. And it's brought in, in front, a shot, and it, and it was tipped wide as Tian may have gotten a piece of it. And now Kalura will attempt to bring it out. And Kalura throws it in, rolls in, and it's sicked away there by Billis. Now played out, out of the zone, Scanlon has it. Now it's played in front and sicked away there by Tian. Great job there by Tian to negate that chance. And now it's played all the way down and out of the zone. We're into our final three minutes of regulation. Justin, oh buckle boy. up. It's three to three. Oh, boy. <laughs> this has been crazy. Now Whitlef weaving his way through. He moves in, and he was poke checked there. Now a pass back. Moving in, a shot, and it got blocked off. It goes over into the corner. McDonald puts it back out at the point. Shot on there, and it got deflected wide. The Slavin tied up there. Bodish works it out. Now a break chance. Scanlon moves in. Stops up there, and he's poked away by Hawkins. Or poke checked away by, by Hawkins. Great job there by Hawkins to get back and to negate that rush. And, and that might have saved the game. And the dumping attempt goes off the stanchion, and it goes up and out of play. 2.16 left to go now in the third. And this is getting very, very intense now as both teams, I assume, are going to be very, very careful with how they play their dumpings and how often they pinch to try and get that extra guy in there for a chance. Yeah, you'd rather play for overtime than, you know, be the team that becomes too aggressive and loses this one. Now Campbell plays it up off the boards all the way down. And icing is called. 2.08 now left to go here in the third. Oh, my goodness, Justin. These last three games of this tournament, the two semifinals, and now this final game, you can't ask for any better – much better hockey than this. Nope. It's been an unbelievable weekend. Thank you, Ben, for uh, being here. Of course. I'd like to thank the Tim Driscoll and the TSCHL for letting us broadcast all these games. It sure has been fun. Now it's thrown out. Now Williams will play it. Under two minutes left to go now. Now in the corner, it's played out. And then Joseph Viak threw it across, knocked down there by Coward, and it heads into the zone. Kicker has it now. Backhand pass across. Williams. Williams plays it out. And that's played back in by Roach. Now Coward plays it back. Campbell. This pass was tipped, and Kecker has it. Backhands one back into the zone. Poked that and neutralized, and somebody took a tumble as that was Joseph Viak who went down, and now was taken back over. By OU, Josephiak moves in, makes a move. Back ends one in front, and it went wide. And now Roach, back pass. Now in the middle, Urker tried to pick it up, but it was poked away from him. And now DiLorenzo picks it back up. And it's flipped in off the glove there of Mueller. As we now enter, or almost enter, the final minute. And a big hit there as Chambers knocked down Mueller, and Mueller is holding his leg. Now pass up, and Mueller is still down, and now they're going to blow the play dead. And Indiana is irate. They think they just got robbed of a chance, but we are now in our final minute of regulation. 57 seconds remain. And Mueller is trying to get up as he has Ripley over there talking to him. And yeah, that was just a big hip check. We hope he's okay yep. as the trainer will come out. And so fit, uh, we're now 57 seconds away from either overtime or we could have the, the uh, deciding goal here in um, 
here in regulation. I know you said yesterday you were ready for overtime in the uh, Kentucky-Ohio game. Well, I think everybody was, and then the 15 seconds left. You know, the battle of the Cats is decided with 15.4 seconds left as uh, the hero for the Bobcats scored with with about zero zero seconds left. I mean, it was it was the loudest I've had during a broadcast. As yeah, as that game as that game winner was scored with uh, 15.6 seconds left, as Mueller was able to get helped off off the ice. And he will be looked at now on the bench. <clears throat> on the bench. Wow, bad voice crack. <laughs> and that's a and reference you're discussing, but I. The officials talking at the scorer's table. I mean, if there was a penalty, they would have called it. Yeah, there's no way. I think it was like a clean right hit. Right then and there. No, yeah, I mean, it was, it was just a bad collision. And now, here we go. 57 seconds left. Third period, it's 3-3. Three to three. Chambers against R Ripley on the draw and neutral ice. Chambers wins it back. Whitleff, he was the overtime hero yesterday for Indiana. And it's tipped in. Racing in to go get it, Iscalera. Atkins one in, and now Ripley plays it off the boards. R Ripley picks it up, and he, and he gave it up. Simino, Simino pass across. Michelli over towards Williams. Williams throws one th th towards the net, and Zaza may have gotten a piece of it. Not sure if it, if it made its way in on him or if it was blocked in front. 25 seconds now left to go. Tian has it in the corner. Tian across, Calera. Clara spins away from Chambers, plays it out, and it was almost turned over there. That could have been a bad turnover, but Tian picks it up, chips it along, threw it on net and guided away there by Billis. Off, seconds now. off the glass, played in, in neutral ice, and Calera plays it back in. Three seconds to go now. Play, play all the way down, and that will do it for regulation as the 2023 TSCHL championship game will be decided in overtime. And I want to remind you, Ben, I know I didn't say it on the broadcast, I said 4-3 in overtime. I'm not going to say who I said won, but if you remember. Yeah, no, I was about <laughs> you, to bring can, it up. You can vouch for me. I said 4-3 in overtime. I'm, I'm not going to say who I said won. I will say it once the game is over. But yep. this is insane. I will say that. We're going to step away for a moment. And, and Tim we, called it. Tim called it, we too. Will, and we'll be back shortly. Stay tuned as we are now going to answer overtime. And so it turns out we're going to have a full intermission for you guys here. And, um, and yeah, I mean, this has been an unbelievable weekend. And what a way to end it. We're going to overtime in the championship game. Yeah, you can't ask for much better than an overtime championship game, Justin. Technically a game seven as it is winner go home. Next goal is a champion and... You know, next goal will decide the champion of 2023 it's in the PSCHL. I guess technically it's not winner go home, but it is champion or non-champion goal because both teams will most likely have regional at-large bids if they lose. But the regional, you don't want to have the committee decide. So this goal is very important as we have just about 10 minutes left. Justin, anything and you'd yeah, like to add? And yeah, and yeah, I did want to mention that there's about 10 minutes on the clock for the for the overtime intermission as it's going to be a full. Intermission. Um, any thoughts? Um, I mean, I mean, I mean. There's there's only so much that we can say. I mean, both teams have played a tremendous game. They 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 played very disciplined. Not many penalties in the game. Uh, both goaltenders have been at the top of their game. Zazon with a couple spectacular saves. Same and same for Billis. Says, 
I go back to that one save as I, as I think that was the save of the game when he had a highway robbery save on the rebound chance in the first period. Um, it's been a great game and a great playoffs, great season overall. And uh, the winner, it's it's it's, it's, it's going to come down to one goal to decide the winner of the, of the uh, TSCHL this season. And yeah, no, it's it's. I have nothing else to say, Justin. You said it pretty much as we have just nine minutes away from the overtime period and we will play continuous overtime until we have a golden goal as this is waiting for the fourth period stretch. I believe we'll have the same four on four as we did in the semifinals for 20 minutes until we get a goal or we get a second overtime. And man, oh man, Justin, we are set for a hero to bring home a championship. IU looking to repeat and OU looking for their first title in five years. And we will step away real quick. 8.39 left in this overtime intermission. We'll see you soon for the overtime, first overtime period.
And we are now back for the start of overtime in the TSEHL championship game between Indiana and Ohio. And here are your overtime rules. First, it's goal and goal. First goal wins, takes on the TSEHL trophy. 20 minute overtime period. And we will not have an intermission if this goes to two overtimes. We will go right back into the second overtime period. So I just want to let you guys know that. But we, we need to crown a winner as there's a trophy at the scorer's table just waiting to be celebrated as this barn is getting more packed throughout the day as this hockey after this. We won't have that, but we thank you for tuning in as we've had a great one so far. As it is time for some overtime championship hockey, nothing better than team that puts in the net, wins the championship, some game seven type feel in this barn. Here we go. Start overtime, Jeremy against Erker on the draw. With Jeremy are Casper Coney, Whitleff, and Warner. And with Erker are Tamborski, Etienne, and Coward. Now let's play it up. Brought in by Casper Coney. That's a cross, it got tipped. Going in to get it there is Coward. Coward has Erker open. Coward moves in, he shoots, save made. The rebound, save made again by Billis. And o or IU's gonna just reset there, and I think that's smart for them. You don't wanna keep trying to go back and forth and track me. Now Casper Coney moves in with speed. He shoots, and that shot got deflected, and a big save made there by Zayazan off the tip. And a big hit there! At the blue line, oh my goodness, what a big hit. Are they gonna call a penalty on that? I don't, I don't believe so. I think they're just gonna make sure he's okay. And that was one of those car crash incident hits. Just I, that believe that was, I believe that was Kecker who initiated the hit. Not sure who that is down for OU. It might be Joseph Fiak. As both guys just ran at each other and fell over and obviously the bo Bobcat got the worst of it, but he's gonna as, skate up to the bench, which as, is great yes, to it, see. Yes it, is, yes, it is Joseph Fiak and he was able to get up and skate up under his own power. Great to see. And the officials conversing now by the scorer's table. No penalty and the faceoff will stay in the OU defensive zone. So. Ben, Bucci cross, overtime challenge. Let's yeah. hear it. I'm gonna go with uh, Ecker for OU and Casher, Casher Tony for uh, IU, both MVP tournament finalists. And then they got the clutch mm -hmm. gene, so we'll see. How about you, Justin? For, for IU, I got Whitleff, as he scored the overtime winner last night. Just follow, uh, following that, follow history. I think history could repeat itself. And for OU, there was a lot of guys who I think could get it, but there's one guy, he's had a lot of chances, and he has a great shot. I got Ripley for OU. We'll see. As Ripley has it, and he lost it to to Casper Coney. I thought you were just going to I thought you were just gonna keep talking about that and then see if OU scored and then <laughs> yeah. say that was gear prediction. That would have been, that would have been great. That would have been so Justin. <laughs> now it's worked across. Roach has it. Sorry, go ahead. As there's 18.32 left, 18.22 left now in the overtime period. Now worked the front and the tip and the save made there by Billis. And now Roach on that save, the rebound is cleared away. McDonald tries to pick it up. And now Williams. Williams still with it and gets it over to Casper Coney. He had to take it off him, and now Urker moves in. Urker, drop pass, Coward, back over to Urker, but it got tipped away. Urker now, back out, Tien, pass across. Timborski shoots, and it got tipped up and into the glass. Urker now. Urker moves in, has it at the near boards. Pass across, got tipped, kept in though by Timborski. He shoots, blocked in front. Now DiLorenzo will skate it out. Pass across. Warner has it now. Warner had it taken off him by Tien. Tien avoids a check and throws it into the far corner. Whitlef takes it over. He's passed across and now DiLorenzo. He waits and a great job there by Tamborski to break up that pass as he was looking for McKay in front. Now McKay has it. Back pass, Jeremy. Jeremy's pass, he fanned on it and the puck left the zones now. Whitlef has to regroup and he works his way in and offside this called. And that's the first time in a long time, or the first time in almost three minutes, Justin, since we had a stoppage in, in this overtime period. Absolutely. 
Griffin face off one back by OU. Roach has it, tries to backhand one along, but it's taken away. And that was uh, uh, Simino who tried to work it in front, but it got blocked off. Now Roach will take it up. And he brings it in, Roach, shoot, save made by Billis, and he holds it. And he gets pushed away from the goaltender by uh, McKay and Myers. As they make sure he doesn't touch their goaltender as he's, as him and also the other other uh, goaltender, Zazon, have both had tr uh, tr tremendous games. Wow, I can't talk today. <laughs> well, I mean, it's very stressed, high tense, fourth period. Free hockey on a free hockey channel. Overtime in the TSCHL championship. Face off one Mike by OU, but the puck leaves the zone, and now Roach will take over. Roach spins away from Simino. Simino, great pressure there as he works his, all, his way all the way back in, into his own crease, and now Calera. That was a scary chance there in his own crease for the Bobcats. Calera moves in. Clara shoots, and that shot got tipped just wide. Now Josephiak running in the boards there. Good to see him back out on the ice. Now McKay takes over. McKay throws it up. Simino. Simino pass across. Myers. Myers moves in. Myers shoots, and he put it wide. Now throwing it back in there was Casper Coney. Castricone works his way around. Circling the zone. And he stops up at the left point. Pass across to Kecker. Kecker shoots, save. The rebound is loose. And it's taken over now by Williams. Williams puts it down low and it's banked off the glass there by Ripley. Now spinning away from the pressure was Josephiak. And now worked across. Ripley picks it up. Ripley pass across off the boards. Picked up there by Josephiak, but poked away from him, and now Kicker has it. Uh, now pass across, Williams. Williams back over as the Hoosiers take over in their own zone and look to break out. Tosser pass across. Williams picks up speed, backhands it in. Now Tamborski trying to get to it, and so is Williams. Williams gets to it first. In the corner now, it's McDonald. McDonald out in front, and it got tipped away, and now it could be a chance here for IU. Chipped out. But a good job there by Warner to break that up. And now Coward with a hard check in the corner. As Coward knocked down Warner. Now it's brought in McDonald. McDonald, a chip play, but he had it taken off him. And now Tien picks it up. Tien throws it down. And now Kalura. Kalura, fan on the back pass. Now Coward tries to get to it. It's poked out. Now a chip pass across. Picked up there by Urker. Urker has two goals in the game. He moves in. Still has it. Poked away there. And he's running to there by Whitleff. Now Jeremy plays it out. It was too far for Warner, but he was able to get to it and pick it up. Warner moves in. In the corner. Backhands it in deep. Jeremy. Trying to work it out. He spins away again. Jeremy puts it in front, and the one-timer was poked away from, from DiLorenzo. And now the puck leaves the zone. Pass across. Whitleff. What left moves in. Great move there. Heads in. He shoots and he put that one just wide. Now it's worked back up by Scanlon. He dumps it in, but it's blocked off at the blue line by What left. And he retreats back. What left's pass for Castricone. Hits him right on the tape. Now Castricone stops, waiting for his team to make a change. He moves in. Castricone is in. He shoots. Save made by Zazon. Point blank. Great save made there by Zazon, one of the best he's had all game. And that's and that's a lot to say because he's been per almost, or he's been incredible all s tournament long as now I'm having trouble talking. And he did a great job getting down and, and getting that. It's contagious, I guess. Yeah, I mean, this is just so high <laughs> tense on Championship Sunday. Mm -hmm. Now Tian, pass across. The Bobcats look to get out. And it was kicked at by Scanlon, but he missed it. So it goes down the ice, and icing is called. 13.02 to go in overtime. My, oh my, Justin, how spoiled have we been to call this great TSCHL tournament? No, I mean, I mean, it's been unbelievable. Thanks again to the commissioner, Tim, and the entire TSCHL staff. Uh, and the faceoff, one back by Indiana. The kicker has it. DiLorenzo at the boards, being washed there by TM. Now back out, a kicker at the point. 
Heads towards the right point, or the left point, excuse me, away from the right point. And now a shot on save made with the stick there by Zazon. Now it's given away in the corner. DiLorenzo plays it back behind the net. Jeremy. Jeremy being watched, it, being watched there by uh, Tamborski. And now DiLorenzo. Spins and gives it over towards Jeremy in the corner. Jeremy heads down. He shoots, blocked off. And now Scanlon. That's across to him. Now Josefiak chops at it as he tried to get it in but could not. And now it's poked in by Tamborski as both teams make changes. And now Williams has through neutral ice. Austin Williams moves in in the middle and he was poke checked, but he'll get to it now. Now down low, Michelli. Michelli in the corner, spins away. Gets knocked down there by Tian, and Tian runs him into the boards, and Tian takes it away. Almost halfway through the period. As both teams are knocking on the door of the 2023 TSCHL Championship. Now Ripley takes it away. Ripley trying to get to it, and Whitleff steals it from him. Whitleff pass up. Castroconi will move in with speed. Spins away in the corner. Trying to get away from Kalura. And Kalura runs him into the boards, and he still has it. Uh, he wanted a hook there, but no call. Now pass across. Fakes a one-timer. That was Warner who faked the one-timer, and now he has a back out at the left point. Pass across, Whitleff. It chips it along into neutralized. McDonald trying to pick it up, but it was taken off him. And now brought up by the Bobcats. And chipped in Ripley now. R Ripley got it in front, but it was guided away there by Whitleff. Now brought up by Jeremy. Jeremy moves in. Pass across McDonald. And he shoots, and that shot got deflected wide. Now pass across. Went wide of a few players. Urker trying to get to it, and he does. He plays it back in. Now the pass across. Goes in between his two teammates, and now McDonald. He'll skate it in. A chip pass in front, and it rolls in on Zazon, and he's able to cover it up. And I think that chance right there was a uh, miscue by the OU Bobcats as one Bobcat was getting off and the other Bobcat didn't get on. And then they, uh, you know, they tried their best there to, uh, to get it back, and they did. Nice save by Zazon. Erker against Jeremy on the draw. Plays off at the near circle. One back, the shot on is blocked off. Jeremy has it now. Jeremy. Shoots, and that shot may have been tipped, and it goes wide. And, and now play it out. Chip pass up, went wide of Coward there. Now played by Jeremy as it gets uh, deflected in. Erker spins, trying to play in front of the bench. And now Jeremy takes it away. Jeremy, a big drive save made by Zazon, and he holds it. Oh, my. And I think we can finally say your second prediction of it's going to end quick is... Now out of the books, we're now, halfway no, yeah. through the first I, overtime I think I period. said that before we came back. I'm pretty sure it said it's, I thought it was going to end quick, but it, but no, it has not. I was wrong. Scanlon against Castroconi on the draw. Castroconi wins it back, but it leaves the zone, so Myers will have to go back and retrieve it. Pass across. McKay moves in. Drop pass. Castroconi has it in the middle. He shoots. Blocker save made there by Zazon. Now McKay down low, DiLorenzo. DiLorenzo waits, down low. Castroconi, he has it again. And he shoots, glove save made by Zazon and he holds it. Oh my. Zazon once again keeping his team in it is, now it's OU's turn to have a bunch of chances on the netminder. Matt. I mean, and, and the weekend just keeps on, just keeps on going. Not yeah. never, never ending weekend here in the, here in the TSCHL. And the shot there, save made, and Zazon goes down, and it's put in front, and a big save made by Zazon. Unbelievable save by Matthew Zazon. He just saved the tournament. I don't know how he did that, and everybody's gonna give him claps. Oh my that word! On real, Justin, we saw the IU bench and IU fans go nuts. And then they didn't, and then they did. Uh, I just watched it back. Thank goodness it didn't 
the stream did not freeze or buffer before he made that save. What a save that was by Zazon. As you guys saw it at home, he got it with the left pad. Now pass across. Shot on, gets deflected wide. IU controlling most of the play here throughout the first half of the overtime period. This place is getting loud. And now Scanlon picks it up, works it across. And it's worked back in, Jeremy, and he'll work it back out. Jeremy's been all over the ice on, in overtime. He has, he's been on the ice for the majority of the period. And he moves in, pass across, and it was broken up. Almost given away now, Scanlon is able to pick it up. Scanlon works it, and a big hit there. As Di Lorenzo knocked down Scanlon, and now working his way in is Bodic. And he had it poked away from him, and he gets run into the goaltender as he was pushed in. And that will stop play. 8.34 left to go in the first overtime period. Yeah, I think that was an obvious accidental contact as he got pushed in by a Hoosier into the Hoosiers goalie. Can, but it, it could rattle the goalie, and this could be a, a big stoppage here as they're going to have to reset the picks to put the net back on its bearings. And, you know, I know all the Bowling Green fans watching know how often we have to say that. Mm -hmm. we have, where will this faceoff be? I, I believe it. I believe it, it's going to be outside the zone since it was one of the OU players who who ran into Billis. So yeah, it'll be in in uh, neutral ice. Ripley against Jeremy on the draw. Here we go. And Ripley wins it back. Tian has it and he dumps it in. Let's see if OU can answer w w with some pressure of their own after IU w was pressuring quite a bit so far. And now Jeremy over to Whitleff. Whitleff moves in. Still has it, Whitleff, all the way in, goes around the net. Still with it now as he's being watched by Tian. And now Michelli reverses. Now in the middle, Jeremy makes a move, he's in, and he puts one just up and over the net. And now Tamborski will take over for OU. And he missed Tian on the pass, but it's picked up now by Josephiak. And, and Josephiak had it poked off him, and now Jeremy takes over again. And, they, and you, know, you mentioned Jeremy before. He's been all over the place here. Now Jeremy wraps it around. Save made by Zazon. And here come the Bobcats back the other way. Josephiak shoots save made by Billis, and he holds it. And these breaks have come. These breaks have had a have, – sorry about that. These breaks have taken – a long time to come in this overtime period as this is only our fourth and we are over halfway through the first overtime period. It, it's, it's, it's been a, a pretty quick period. Yeah, not a lot of stoppages. Fits off one back by Erker for OSU. Shot on there, blocked off, and it goes all the way back down. Roach has to go back and retrieve it. Roach, pass up, off the stick there of Kalura. Kalura tries to pick it up and he'll bring it in. Kalura moves in. Pass across, broken up by IU as they look to counter attack the other way. Brought in by McDonald. And McDonald waits. Now it comes in the middle and then taken back over by OU. And here comes Coward. Coward trying to bust in and he gets around the, the defense. Pass in front and it could not be picked up by Erker as he had a yawning cage. And now Roach waits. He shoots, deflected, blocked in front and covered up by Billis. Oh my gosh, Justin, that was the game. That was the game, and he just, just a tough corral sequence. And wow, is this, there's been a lot of opportunities, just we needed someone to capitalize with 6.50 left. I mean, in this first overtime. Geez, this, geez this, this has been just an unbelievable game, unbelievable weekend, with so much to, to say, as that shot gets tipped wide. Now a battle for it in the corner. Bodich had it poked away from him and it comes back out towards the point. Dump an attempt is blocked off by Williams. Now kicker. Throws it out off the stick of DiLorenzo. Bodich picks it up and his pass intended for Scanlon was too far in front of him and now Castricone moves in. Through the legs, he busts in and he lost the puck as he went across the crease. And, and it's gonna be, and the whistle blows the play dead for the net coming off as Castricone tried to dart in and he made a great move and, he, and the puck just rolled on him. And there's a reason why he's a finalist MVP, Justin Castro-Tony. Um, he le he's leading the 
Indiana Hoosiers going into this game in points, having a goal today already. Castroconi against Bodic on the draw, and Bodic wins it back. A pass back. Etienne has it behind the net. And now pass across. Scanlon moves in, and yet it roll off of him. Now it's brought in by Williams. And they'll spin back now and take it back into his own defensive zone. Williams will head in. And they'll throw it in deep. Knocked down there by Kalura. Kalura is able to, to reverse it. And he'll move in with speed. He takes it into the zone. Kalura shoots and now shot, it got deflected wide. And that's Warner who has it. As he waits for his team to make a change and he throws it up. Whitlef will take it back in. And back over to Warner again. Pass up off the skate of Simino and now Whitlef picks it up. Whitlef moves in. Whitlef shoots and, and that one went up and over the net. Now it's brought in by Ripley. Could be a two on one if they hurry up. Ripley moves in. He shoots, save made by Billis. It's still loose. Backhanded in front and the net came flying off its moorings as that was Josephiak who came flying in. Yeah, and Josephiak just not fast enough to get there to make that a two on one chances. Ripley did the right thing and just put the puck on net instead of losing the opportunity. So I know our camera girl, Ashley Smith, is going nuts to the right of you, Justin, as we'd like to thank her for a whole weekend of help. And, and yeah, she, she, did all, she did all the games for OU, did the camera, thank you so much. Is there, as I see a bird in here. There's a bird flying around. Yeah, the bird must have got in somewhere. It's now, TSCHL Madness, even the birds. Now Ripley, big drive, and it got deflected wide. And now Whitlef. Gets it over to Warner. Now Warner fan on the pass. Then Ripley was pressuring him, and he was able to get it out. He still has it, is able to avoid a check and move in. Now Roche takes over after the dump in. Roche is able to avoid a check and then gets knocked down by Chambers. Now what, or not, or not what left us, Simino had it taken off of him and now Mueller has it. Mueller back behind the net. And he'll wait and he'll bring it up. Mueller moves in. Yep. And offside, this call that Urker was just offsides. Yeah, and Urker just got his hit, his leg hit on that initial drive into the zone. And that'll force an offsides. He tried his best to keep on, but, you know, ice is slippery and you keep moving. That's a good way to put it, very bluntly. Yep. <laughs> it's just I'm how just it is. calling it how I see it. <laughs> it's my job. It's just how it is. A clear up, pass across to him. Dan shoots, blocker save made by Billis. He was the hero last night for the OU Bobcats. And now Calera pass in the middle, Urker, and he put it through his legs, but he couldn't corral it. A coward pressuring back in the corner. And a good job there by Slavin to maintain control, and then he gets it over to Myers. Under four minutes now left to go in the first overtime period. Next goal decides the winner of the TSCHL championship in 2023. Myers, trying to his way out and he almost gave it up and now Coward trying to get to it. He was pressured there by multiple Hoosiers as he couldn't corral it. Now Tien, pass up. Kalura moves in. Kalura, pass across in the middle and Urker couldn't pick it up. And now Scanlon trying to get to it. Runs, in, runs into a man there, Scanlon throws it on net. And it went just wide. Now Urker tried to get away from McKay, but could not. And now McDonald. Now we're just under three minutes left in the first overtime period. McDonald goes back behind the net. The chip pass up. Williams moves in. Down the far boards he takes. It goes back behind the net. Comes towards Scamlin, and now Williams still has it. Williams heads down into the near corner. Takes it around the net. Back out at the point. Kicker. Now down low, McDonald. 
being washed there by Tian, and he, and he checks him into the boards. Now in front, DiLorenzo takes it back out. Now at the point, Williams. Williams shoots, save the rebound, and it caroms away. Now it's chipped up. Tian trying to play it. He couldn't quite get to it, as now McDonald will take over and gets it over to kicker. Now just over two minutes left to go. It's just thrown all the way down, and icing is called. Oh, my. 157 left to go as the clock is still running here in the arena. Oh, and that bird just came over by us. Let's hope it doesn't. As there were three, uh, as there were three extra seconds that it, it ticked off the clock, so we will account for that. 154 to go. Indiana's trying to call a timeout, and they will. Timeout, Hoosiers. So, Ben, uh, I haven't asked you yet. What's your assessment been? Um, so far. Yeah, I mean, Justin, it, I don't really know how I can give an assessment. I mean, it's been pretty perfect hockey back and forth is the only thing that have not been perfect is there's no goals in this overtime period. Mm -hmm. You can't really say one team's playing better than the other because they've both been playing fabulous. I don't know about, how do you feel, Justin? I mean, I think it's been a pretty uh, conservative period by both teams, some chances. Um, the one chance that still I'm thinking about is when Urker had to go just past him as it was in a really weird spot, so he couldn't corral it. But uh, that would have gave him the chance for the overtime winner and also a hat trick. Um, but just an unfortunate bounce. And then over at, at the other end, Zazon made an unbelievable save earlier in the overtime period. So 154 now left to go. Faceoff will be in the Indiana defensive zone. I think that was a smart call by Indiana to get catch your breath and yep. relax both teams as we still need to crown a champion. Jeremy against Ripley on the draw at the far circle. Ripley wins it back. Roach plays it in deep. Josephiak plays it across. Ripley has it at the boards. Back out. Roach. Roach a big drive. Save. And now Josephiak. Being washed there by Whitleff. And now Whitleff takes it away. Whitleff heads down the ice. Pass across. And now Simino. And he tried to get it across, but he was push off the puck there. Now OU takes it back. Now Simino still trying to battle for it there. Now it's worked down low. Jeremy spins away. Jeremy shoots, save made by Zazon, and he holds it. As he was able to see that shot through traffic. I couldn't even see that shot through traffic. I do not know how Zazon could with, what, seven, seven, Hoos or seven hockey players in front of him, not seven Hoosiers. There'd be too many men on the ice. Face off at the near circle of the OU defensive zone. And then flung back by Chambers. Shot there just wide as Kicker tried to pick the corner. Now Erker has it. Erker chips it out, kept in though by Williams. Williams heads down into the corner. Now in the near corner, he has it. Under a minute to go now in the overtime period. Pass across, broken up. And Kalura races in. Kalura shoots, glove save made by Billis and he holds it. 43 seconds now left to go. Wow, oh wow, I know I keep saying that Justin, but there's not much I can't say. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, for this game, I mean, it's been the best game I think we've done all all weekend. This might be the best game of my life. Oh uh, yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, no, yeah, you're right. I, I would, I would definitely say so. The stakes are super high. The game is at, the, at, at the tail end of the first overtime period. Brought in by Kecker. In the corner, Kecker. Running two by TM. Now back at the point, Williams down low. The kicker shot off the blocker of Zazon and now cleared out of there with the glove. That's a hand pass. And, and, yeah, and they're going to call a, a hand pass after Urker was the first one to touch the puck. 15 seconds left to go. That's a hand pass, but you got to take that hand pass if you're OU because mm -hmm. Zazon did not know where that puck was and it was fluttering in the air, and that's the last way you want to lose a championship. As now we'll have a timeout OU, I believe. That's timeout OU, 15 seconds left in this first overtime. Oh, man. Wow. 
That's, that, that's a good way to put it. I mean, this is an unbelievable game from both these teams. And I mean, like both teams, they've, they've had their chances, but for the most part, they've been playing very conservative hockey. And the officials conversing back by the uh, score of Sable. I'm sure they're talking about, I mean, what a tremendous game this has been. <coughs> Excuse me. What a tremendous game this has been from all the teams uh, the, uh, this weekend. And especially, I mean, I mean, this game has just been uh, like un unbelievable. Yeah, and the timeout will end with 15 seconds left in overtime. Pitbull will play into our ears. We still need a crown of champion. We need a hero somewhere. Either team can do it. 15 seconds left in this opening period. It is three to three. And the faceoff one back by OU and it's cleared out. Now, now poked along and trying to get to it. There was Coward, but he couldn't get to it. And now Tamborski has it. And Tamborski pass across. Worked out. Erker picks it up, puts it through his legs. Pass across. Poked out by Coward. And that will do it for the overtime period as we will head into a second overtime period here in the 2023 TSCHL championship game. Oh, my goodness. We'll have a two-minute break, as the referee indicates, before a second overtime period in this TSCHL championship. Justin, can you ask for anything better than this on Championship Sunday? A third overtime period? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, 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 uh. Eventually, we're going to have to crown a winner. You don't want to go anywhere. 134 left. We're going to be still broadcasting this game, and the, and the Super Bowl is going to be over. Yeah. <laughs> we might never have a champion here. What a tremendous game by both of these teams. And once again, we want to thank you guys for bearing with us. We know the connection is buffering or the stream, the, the stream is, is uh, buffering, but we're doing the best we can with the spotty Wi-Fi here in this arena. And now, I mean, everybody's here for the game after. Um, as, as there is a game scheduled that it's supposed to be going on r right now, and now everybody's standing up against uh, uh, the boards watching now that's supposed to be watching that game. Yeah, well. Nice introduction into ACHA, ACHA, TSCHL hockey. Nothing like it. Nope. I think all 275 of you who's viewing this one, as we are about to have our second overtime, the fifth period of overtime, Justin. This is insane. 30 seconds left, and I really don't know how else to break this game down is besides we need a hero, and we need one soon. Twenty seconds remain in this two-minute break as this keeps filling up. And here we go. Double overtime in the championship game. Back to four-on-four four play. As both benches getting up, slamming their six on the boards. So let's see what the second overtime period has in store for us. Let's go. Erker, Roach, Tamborski, and Coward start out for the this Bobcats. This place is getting loud, Justin. The Castroconi, Jeremy, Kicker, and Williams start for the Hoosiers. I don't know how Jeremy is still skating. He's been out there for at least three hours, it seems like. And Coward fan on the pass. Pass across, kept in by Tamborski. Moves in, he shoots, and that shot went wide. Erker spins away. Makes a move in the corner. Has down low, pass back out, and it was tipped away by Casperconi. And he'll move in. And Casperconi, pass over Jeremy, put it through his legs. And, and puts it in front, and it's backhanded on net, and it was tipped away, and now Roach will skate it out. Roach had to take it off him by Jeremy, and then Roach pokes away at it, and he's still going after it with Jeremy. Now Jeremy being pressured there. Pass in the middle, got deflected back behind the net. And now Williams. Throws it all the way around. 
Off the board, let's play back out. Now Calera plays it back in. Whitlap picks it up. As at the red line, spins back now as he'll take it back towards his own blue line. And, and now across, Warner. Warner pass in the middle. It was broken up, and now Tian works his way out. Calera trying to skate after it and trying to get there, and he's able to. Now picked up by Josephiak. Josephiak in the middle, he shoots, and he was poke checked there. Now racing after it are DiLorenzo and Tian. And DiLorenzo is able to get there first. Tian knocks him into the boards. And DiLorenzo knocked down by Tian, and now Calera will pick it up. Calera, back pass, Tian. Tian broke it up. DiLorenzo trying to skate after it, and, he, and he's able to get to it, and he's knocked down, and the net comes off. I know these OU or IU fans wanted a penalty. That was a close one. I think we're going to have a no call there, though. So we'll remain four on four in this double overtime period. And you see that a lot in hockey, Justin. I mean, you can't. It's so hard to, to call a penalty when it's already four on four. You know, go. you just mm -hmm. can't do it. Yeah. It's just such a hard call for the ref. And the refs, someone's going to hate the ref no matter what happens. And now Roach. Back pass, Tamborski. Toss her pass. Off the boards, played by Scanlon. Now Bodic tries to pick it up, and he's able to. He works his way on in. Bodic, he shoots. Pat save made there by Billis. Now poked along. Pass across. It went wide of Castroconi. Now off the glass. Bodic kicks it, kicks it back in, and Bodic pass across. Scanlon moves in. Scan Lim, waits, he shoots, and that shot gets deflected, and it goes way up in, into the exit. Yeah, the Zamboni driver will get a nice souvenir from the TSCHL for doing some overtime, no pun intended, on clearing the rink as we are in our fifth period of play. Erker against Jeremy on the draw. Big drive there, gets deflected wide as Urko won the draw back over towards Kalura. Now played back, Jeremy. Jeremy will skate it out. Makes a great move. Starts his way on in, Jeremy. Backhander save, made in the rebound. It's loose in the crease. And then they're trying to get it out. Urker, stick check there. McDonald trying to get in there. Mueller got there first. Play back out towards the point. Williams now. And now Mueller takes it away. Mueller skates out for the Bobcats. Still with it. And able to get it in deep, but Williams blocked it off. And he lost his footing there. Urker trying to race in to go get it. Pokes at it, but Williams is able to maintain the control. And now DiLorenzo. And DiLorenzo will move in. Back pass. The kicker. He shoots. Save made by Zazon. The rebound. And it gets blocked off into the corner. Now Roach is able to get it out. It goes all the way down, and it goes wide of the net. Uh, no icing called, as it may have been tipped. Yeah, it had to be Justin, because I believe that was clear as day icing if it wasn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it get tipped. And now a miscommunication there. Josephiak passing the middle, and the one-timer was fanned on by Ripley. Now Josephiak had it taken off him. And now kicker spins away. Pass across. And that's Whitleff. With left pass across, picked up there. And the shot there, save made. And the rebound, it's loose and covered up. As that was Slavin who threw it on net and Zazon made a great save and was able to cover up any rebound chance. Man, oh man, both of these teams are gonna have to buy each goalie a present for making this game last five overtimes. Double overtime action you got. So happy you guys all tuned in because this is a great one for you. And the faceoff one back by Indiana. Pass across goes out of the zone. Now across Whitleff. He fed on the pass. Comes over to Chambers and Chambers had a miscommunication there, but Whitleff is able to pick it up for IU. Whitleff moves in. Whitleff shoots, save made by Zazon. 
as Whitlift was looking for his second straight game with an overtime winner. Yeah, and the IU will take it behind the, behind the or OU would rather take it behind their own netminder as they're trying to break this puck out. And they've had a lot of trouble breaking the puck out here in this game. Now the puck is worked in and now it's cleared out. Kalura will, will pick it up. Now it's turned over, Jeremy moves in. And it's poked away from him. And now Scanlon gets it over to Tian. Tian shoots, blocked off, he gets it back. Tian shoots, glove save made by Billis. And he will let it go. And now Urker has it, Urker pass in, in front and it was blocked off. Urker still trying to get to it and he does. Urker taken down there. Now behind the net, Urker turns and shoots and that shot gets blocked away. Now Simino has it, pass back. Jeremy has it now. Justin, I don't even know how to break this down for you because this is insane. No, yeah, I don't know. Is this, is this gonna end? <laughs> <laughs> and, and that McDonald shoot save made by Zazon and he holds it. What a way to decide the 2023 TSCHL champion. Yeah, I mean, if anybody says that ACHA players don't care, just watch this game because these teams are in a all-out war with 14-10 left in double overtime. We still need to crown a champion. Next goal wins. Face off, one back by OU. Long pass up. It goes wide of Williams. And it'll be played there by Billis. Dangerous play there, but he, but he had to go play it. Otherwise, uh, Joseph Fiak would have gotten there first. Now played across. The kicker will pick it up. Could be a three on two if they hurry up. The kicker back pass. McDonald poke check there. Could be a two on one. Joseph Fiak and Ripley worked their way in. And now, and now a pass across, broken up there. Great break up there by McDonald. And now Ripley. And he waits. Drops it off. Roach. Roach shoots. Save. The rebound scores behind the net. Wrap around chance. Save made. Tamborski chops at it to keep it in. Thrown towards the net and sicked away there by Billis. Now Joseph Fiak. Heads down into the corner. Goes back behind the net. Tamborski off the boards and now taken over. Now the pass across. William, does both teams will get reset. As Indiana makes some changes and so does OU. Puck is left there for Whitleff. Whitleff moves in with a lot of speed. It takes it around. Still has it in the corner with Calero watching him. It drops it off, DiLorenzo. Back pass, Warner now, Warner in the middle and it was blocked away and now racing after it is Bodich. Bodich had it blocked away from him by Jeremy. Great job there by Will Jeremy. And has Will Jeremy been on the ice for a while? Seemed like one of those guys that anytime the puck is loose, he's the one that's there to get it. Now pass is broken up. Scanlon trying to get to it. Jeremy picks it back up and neutralized. Now it's played in. McKay works his way in. Okay, taken down there. And Jeremy back out at the point. Shut on net glove save as it was tipped. And Zazon will hold on to it. 12.06 left to go. Here oh, in the wow. second overtime period. <laughs> is that a Bowling Green youth hockey jersey down there? I think that is. Shout out Bowling Green, the YouTube channel we are streaming off of. In the face off on the tie up, still working away at it, and it's one back towards OU, and Mueller will try and take it out, and it'll be Coward. Pass across, and offside is called. And a, and a collision there as now McKay and Mueller share some words with each other. And that's expected. I mean, they've been on the ice for how long? Both teams want this trophy so, so bad. Indiana looking to repeat, and OU looking. Um, Looking to win their first TSCHL in five years. Tensions are very high in this double overtime as we need a hero. Now let's play it in, and Billis will play it away. And a great pass out as Simino picks it up. Simino moves in. Simino shoots, save the rebound. It comes in on Zazon and he saves it. It's still loose. Zazon trying to cover it up, and he's able to. How? And the puck ended up squirting out. And it was played across there by Simino. 
That was close. Yeah, Zazon was down, fell down, got back up. The puck bounced right into his Bob, the Bobcat logo on his chest. And then we had a big scrum out in front, and they finally called it dead. We'll have another faceoff left to Zazon. I don't know how we're still playing, but it's 11.38 in the fifth period. As this is an all-time banger, Justin. We listen to this on the way here. Yeah. Face up at the far circle. Notian spins away, and he's able to get it down low. Calera pass across, Ripley. Saucer pass up, Josephiak moves in. And Josephiak heads down, heads down and into the corner. Run into the boards hard there. Hard there, excuse me. And Indiana will be taking up the puck, trying to break that out, but that will go back to the Bobcats as Urker will lose it. He'll pass that off, but and OU looks to break it back out. And now Ripley is able to get it in. In the corner, hit there, as that was Josephiak running into Warner. Now brought up by Williams, saucer pass across. It went past Jeremy, and now Kalura waiting with it. Kalura back pass, and now Ripley. Pass across, Bodich tries to get to it. Roche trying to pick it up now. And that pass was blocked off. And now Williams will regain control. Almost halfway through the second overtime period. They yeah, we almost have played a game and a half. Mm -hmm. Williams. Still has it. Williams shoots just wide. Now Bodich will take over. And that big tie up out front for the Bobcats maybe saved the game as I don't think Zazan saw the puck. Has no icing call even though oh, you wanted one, or IU wanted one. And we are now halfway through the overtime period, the second overtime period, and I'm not sure if you've noticed, Ben, but, but the fatigue really starting to set in for both these teams. Yeah, I mean, both teams, I mean, you've been skating for a game and a half straight with 10 minute breaks nonstop. You're gonna end up cramping up, and that's exactly what we're seeing right now is these teams just will not quit. Now, now Castricone spins away. At the point he has it. He moves in with it. A backhander and that one got deflected wide. And now it's whacked at back behind the net. Mueller trying to pick it up and he's able to get it over to, to Roach. Roach heads down the far boards. Pass across, Urker gave it up. Could be a two on one here. As Chambers moves in, pass across, and it was just too far out in front of Myers. And I think that pass just being off is, has, to, has to be credited to fatigue. Now Mueller's shot blocked off as he was just trying to shoot it in, maybe on net, not sure. And now Chambers picks it up. Chambers drop pass and miscommunication there, but now it's picked up by the Hoosiers as they look to get reset, maybe take a quick breather. Yeah, that's what they need. I mean, this has been an absolute battle of warriors right now. 8.44 left in the fifth period. A pass up, Whitlef moves in. Whitlef, he's got room, Whitlef, he shoots and it went just wide. In our angle, I thought that puck was in the net. And he pulled off a great toe drag move and he put it just wide, glove side. And a big hit there at the blue line as Whitlef knocked down Josephiak. And he's been getting crushed all game, Josephiak. It's his second, the second time he's a, big, a victim of a big hit. Uh, pass across, Whitlef takes over. Whitlef, pass up. DiLorenzo throws it across. Jeremy moves in. Making some moves there. He tries to dart it, and he tried to get one on net, but it was poked away from him. And now Tian. And pass went off the glove there of Bodich, and Bodich will pick it up. Bodich moves in. He still has the puck. Tried to pass it out in front twice, and both passes were blocked off by Jeremy. There's now a puck battle in the corner as it's pinned up against the boards. Is everybody's gonna get a breather now. Now it's worked out. Bodich maintaining control. Tries to get it back out towards the point, but it was blocked off, and now DiLorenzo will move in with it. DiLorenzo waits, makes a move, it's loose in front, and it went through the crease as nobody was able to pick it up. Throwing back down low all the way around. Coward will pick it up. Coward pass across, Tien. 
Tian throws it in deep. It goes all the way around. That's picked up here. Coward, he shoots, and, it, and a save made by Billis. My, oh, my. As Coward had that chance there. The whole stadium, including me, jumped on that one. Mm -hmm. A long pass up. Simino moves in. He shoots, save made, and it's loose, and now covered up very, by Zazon. Very wise move by Zazon there to cover that puck. As it was hopping, he looked like he was going to hit it out, but covered it instead. And have we played a lot of hockey today or what, Justin? We played a lot of hockey this weekend, let alone today. And I hope you didn't have any Super Bowl plans because we do not know when this one will be ended. We still wait for a champion, as that'll be won by the Hoosiers. Urker trying to play it out. Wasn't able to corral it, but a CMA it is. That's Coward bringing it in. Coward tried to throw it across, but it was blocked up. And now Castricone will take over. And Castricone moves in. Stars towards the outside, spins back in the corner. Spins again. He waits with it, it takes it in, it's loose in the crease, and they score! Indiana wins the TSCHL championship! Now wait a minute, and that's a good goal. And we have a champion, as I will go try to get some interviews. Thank you, Ben, and the Hoosiers have won the TSCHL championship for the second year in a row. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure who poked it in as all of a sudden I saw the puck go into the net. There were multiple Hoosiers around the net. And it was poked in. And the Hoosiers take the game in double overtime. They win it four to three. And we are going to have Ben conduct some interviews. And the coaches are around the scorer's table. And the entire OU team is still on the bench. I'm not sure what they're looking over. They can look at our live stream if we want. We got it. <laughs> and the official's conversing. And they come out. And it's a good goal. I mean, they didn't review anything, but nevertheless, Indiana wins again. For the second straight year, they win the TSCHL championship, and what a weekend it was. As the Hoosiers win all their games by one goal, including two overtime games. They beat Michigan in round one, three to two, and they beat Ohio State yesterday, five to four in overtime, and they beat OU four to three in double overtime. And we're gonna step away for just a moment, but we will we'll be back. So stay tuned, we'll, we'll be back with interviews soon.
And we now see the captain, Will Jeremy. And we also see Tommy McDonald going over there to accept the award, along with Drew Michelli. Michelli will, and Michelli will lift it in the air, and they'll get a picture. And then they'll skate over to their team to celebrate defending their title. And we will have the interviews coming up for you guys shortly. Once the celebration has has uh, concluded, so stay tuned.
and we now have an interview with the game winner, with the player who scored the game winner, Nick Castricconi, with, and he's standing by with Ben Shanahan. We're here with Nick Castitani, the game winner, the hero. It's a five five periods. What does that feel like to get uh, Barry the winner? It was great, but I couldn't have done it without all these guys. I mean, it feels fantastic to win back I wasn't a part of it last year, but it's so fun. Now. And crazy semi, crazy close game, all three games. How does that feel to finally get the relief going in the regionals? You finally punch your ticket. Yeah, it feels great. I mean, better than playing blowouts. So we know we're ready to play good teams. All these teams are great. So. And like I said in the first interview, anyone you want to say hi to back home after burying the winner? Yeah, again, my mom, dad, brother, sister, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Congratulations. Have a great one. And. And, and thank you, Ben. And we will now jump into our post-game report. And this is the final game that we're going to be doing, I believe, barring the uh, future rankings. So, uh, Ben, give me your thoughts on how the game went. Yeah, Justin, I mean, first off, it's been a heck of a season to call games with you all year long. And, um, I mean, there's no better way besides uh, – there's not really m a better way to uh, – and a great, a great run as we had with that in five, uh, five overtimes. Kashirani going into it was the MVP favorite for IU as we talked to Tim over the phone during the intermissions, and he buries the game winner. And that usually what happens in those tight games. Your best players shine, and for the second straight year, the TSCHL championship is going to Bloomington, Indiana, as both teams will probably make regionals. But now it is for sure that um, Indiana has punched their ticket. Yep. And um, the Castricone on the overtime goal gets the MVP. Uh, he scored two goals in the game. Uh, it was an unbelievable job um, as Castricone ended up getting three goals and an assist um, in the playoffs to lead his team in points and also goals. So, uh, I mean, yeah, it's been a pleasure uh, working with you, Ben, all season long. And... Um, and yeah, and uh, leading up to uh, the final rankings for uh, uh, regionals, we this could be the last game that we have uh, for you guys. Uh, uh, thank you, thank all you guys for watching all season. Uh, if you guys have been watching all season, thank you. If you guys have just been watching for the playoffs, we thank you also. It's been a pleasure. Uh, ben, uh, anything else to add? No, I got nothing else, Justin. We like to thank. For Bowling Green's sake, we'd like to thank Team President Adam Burtzlaff, Head Coach Drew Harper for giving us the opportunity to broadcast on his channel. For playoff sake, we'd like to thank Tim Driscoll and the rest of the TSCHL playoff, or uh, sorry, not the board, and all of the great teams for competing in probably the, one of the greatest tournaments I've watched in a long time. Yep. And we will see you guys next time. Stay tuned to our Twitter for more updates on what the BGSU Clubbers are doing next. And a big congrats again to Indiana head coach Andrew Weiss and everybody on that team. Great season and a big, and a big, big, big win in double overtime to uh, win their second straight TSCHL championship.